Foot Family Walk-In Clinic, located at 1954 St. John Avenue in Dyersburg. They're a full-service facility that treats all ages, from pediatrics to the elderly. Their friendly staff is there to help make you feel better and be in tip-top shape. For more information, call 731-285-6110. Real Foot Family Walk-In Clinic, available in Dyersburg, Union City, Dresden, and now open in Ferris, where you're more than a patient, your family. There's something missing in your life. life. WTRO Dyersburg. For Northeast Eagles, and it's going to go out of bounds, and that's the G&G Cycles kickoff to start the ball game. G&G Cycles covering all your outdoor work, play, sporting needs, and Dyer County is going to take over on their own 35-yard line as the ball went out of bounds, and it will be and it was back around the 25. The flag was thrown, but it's going to be first and ten for Dyer County at their own 35-yard line, and then. Dyer County will be moving from our left to our right. And they're going to put the ball on the left hash mark, the far side of the field from us. Northeast in white uniforms, dark numerous, uh, gold helmets with a Eagle logo, a lo logo on it. First and ten, Shane Patterson back to quarterback, back to pass, looking downfield, looking, looking. Nobody there. He takes off. He's at the 35, the 40. He's up to the 45. He's going to run out of bounds short of the 50-yard line, about the 48-yard line. So it's going to be enough for, for a Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. As Patterson goes, looks downfield. and That was actually time. coverage, and uh, the line opened the hole, but uh, nothing downfield, so Patterson just tucked it in and took off. Well, that's a smart move. If you Absolutely. don't have anything, he's got plenty of room. Take off. Right. He's got three of the wide receivers to the right side, and he hands off to Wells, and Wells across the 50 to the 45, the 40, and he's still going inside the 30, down the 25, and finally taken down inside uh, right at the 19-yard line, inside the 20, another Henson insurance first down for Dyer County as Wells gets the handoff, and he goes off right guard, and there is plenty of running room. We have a big hole up front. Great job by the defense, uh, offensive line. And that's a big defensive front that Parcel, Parcel Northeast had. Once again, take the ball, pass it out to the uh, right side. Sawyer has it. He steps around. He gets past the 15. He's inside the 10, and he's going to be taken down out of bounds at the about the seven-yard line. So a nice pickup. Another first down. We've had three plays, three first downs as we pick up another Henson Insurance first down. And it's now it's going to be first down and goal from the seven-yard line. And Dane Patterson took the snap, looked over to Garrett Sawyer, hit him. And he was open and took off running. And fake it to Wells, and pa Patterson's going to keep it, and he's going to take it all the way in seven yards for a touchdown. Dane Patterson rolled Wells, and it looked like Wells wanted to get the ball. And yeah, they thought they, they had to respect Wells getting it, and uh, he held it as long as he could, then he pulled it out. It was wide open. He walked in untouched. Uh, seven yards for the touchdown. The Lowry's body shop touchdown for Dyer County. Puts Dyer County on top. Six to nothing with 11.07 remaining in the first quarter. Logan Cartwright in to attempt the extra point. Here at the hold, the kick is up. It's plenty long, and it's good. So Logan Cartwright kicks the extended care home health extra point, puts Dyer County on top with less than a minute gone in the game. 11.07 remaining in the first quarter. Let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on WTRO. Do you find yourself worrying about your finances more and more these days? At Security Bank, your finances are our main concern. Hi, I'm John Young, and at Security Bank, we understand how hard you work for your money, and we want to help you make the most of every penny. We're a full-service bank that can provide you with checking and savings accounts, loans, mortgage options, home equity lines of credit, and much more. Come to any of our seven convenient locations in Dyer and Gibson counties and experience banking service like you've never had before. Security Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Back at Dyer County High School where Dyer County took four plays to score the first touchdown as they took the kickoff. And it went out of bounds, took over on their own 35, and marched 55 yards in four plays for the touchdown. Now we have the G&G Cycles ex uh, kickoff, and it's going to be touched, I believe, down about the five-yard line. Oh, so that was a bad mistake. Yeah. That one was going out of bounds, yeah. and 
That was uh, number 20, Jalen Bowser. He's experienced slot back. He, he's a little angry with himself for doing that. But, I mean, uh, it, was, it was going out of bounds if he had just gotten just out got of bounds. He got out of the way of it, yeah. yeah. But, but he went over and touched it, and as it went down through his body, and it went on out of bounds after it touched him in bounds. So it's going to be uh, partial first and, first and ten from that, their own five-yard five line. Five-yard line, yeah. yes, sir. So that was not a smart move at all by Bowser. And the quarterback is a freshman puke. He's in the shotgun. Single running back back there. Two wide receivers each side. Man in motion. He's going to hand off to the running back that was in motion. He's going to be thrown for a loss. And that was a slot back that came around. And is that is uh, Bowser again? Number 20? Can't tell. Might have been 10. It'll be second and 10 Might have been Jarrett. But I'll tell Dante you. Jarrett. Loss of a yard on the play, second down and 11. Ball at the northeast four-yard line. Quarterback in high snap, he's back to throw. It's freshman, he throws it out in the flat, and it's caught, and he's going to be taken out of bounds, but he's going to have enough for the first down. And the pass was uh, caught by Vereen, number one, and that's going to be a first down for Clarksville. And let's make sure this is northeast. I, need, I guess I need to refer to him as northeast instead of Clarksville because yeah. they play Nick Clarksville. I see next to it. So Northeast has first down at their own 20-yard line. Three wide receivers out to the left side. It's going to be thrown out to the left side, and he's going to be taken down for a loss. Coming up to make the stop, that's number seven, uh, Ethan Evans, and also, uh, is that well, Josh Stewart coming up to make the stop. And also Tristan Rhymes already, already, always over there too. Well, they gave him a loss of a yard, so he's back on the 19 yeah. instead of the 20, so it was a negative play there. Yeah. So they have in the backfield, along with the quarterback, Marsh is the running back. They have three wide receivers out to the right. High snap, it's over his head. He goes back, and the ball's going to be recovered by Northeast. And But it's a loss back to about the five-yard line. Snap was over the quarterback's head. Recovery was uh, made by number 40. That is Yamil Marsh. He's the... Workhorse running back, he's yet to touch the ball in this game, but he gets the majority of the carries for That's the Eagles. They swap swinter, uh, centers. <laughs> so number 53 comes in. Is that what it was? Just snapped it over his head? Yeah, just snapped it high. And now the ball on the five-yard line. Quarterback is at the goal line. He's back to pass. He's in his own, in, on end zone. Passes over here, on the, and he pushed off. He catches the ball, but he pushed off. And there was not a referee over here to see it. No, but he made the catch. That's number 11, Miller. Jalen Miller, the senior wide receiver, he's the six, one of those six, three receivers. He pushed off, got open, and caught the ball for a first down at their 34-yard line. First down and 10, northeast at their own 34-yard line. But he did a good job because the officials weren't close enough to see it. And Christian Rimes had excellent coverage oh, he, on him, he too. He was right there with he him, and all him, of a yeah. sudden there was that separation. So a quick pass out there again. Once again, it's thrown out to Miller, and he makes a diving catch, but it's and it's caught at the 41-yard line. So about a, a six-yard pickup on the play. So it's going to bring up second down and four. And they they don't huddle up either. Northeast, they're on the left hash mark. They've got three wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Single running back in the backfield with Buke. Snap, handoff this time, number 20. Uh, Bowser, he gets loose at the 45. He's at the 50. He breaks another tackle. He breaks three more tackles, and he's finally going to be drugged down inside and Dyer County territory at the 35-yard line. That's Jalen Bowser, and he just kept breaking tackles, breaking tackles, breaking tackles. We couldn't get a shot, a clean shot at him. We couldn't wrap him up. It's a third first down. So they have the ball first down and 10 at the Dyer County 35-yard line. This time the ball's on the right hash mark, and they have the three wide receivers over to the left. Looking over, and he's going to throw it. It's going to be intercepted by Christian Ryan. He, he broke for the ball. The ball was intended for Jared, and Christian Ryan broke for the ball just as the ball was released. Excellent pass coverage that time by the Dyer County Chantals and Christian Ryan forces a turnover. So it's going to be Dyer County ball. They're going to take over on their own 40-yard line, first down and 10. 
7.50 remaining in the first quarter. Darcy on top, 7 to nothing, and a great defensive job that time of Kristen Ryan. Absolutely, and that's how you stop a drive right there. Dyer County will go on offense at the 40. And Ryan's in motion. He's going to be having the ball fake to him. Patterson back to pass. He's going to throw it long to Garrett Sawyer, and he's a little overthrown. There was some jostling going on. I was going to say Sawyer he was. Uh, West. Yeah. Hozon West had, uh, looked like he grabbed him a little bit and slowed him down nonetheless. It's going to bring up second down and 10. Dyer County has the ball at their own 40-yard line. They're on the right hash mark. They have the three wide receivers to the left. Garrett Sawyer. The single receiver over here, Kristen Rhymes. Um, Parker, they're going to throw it over, and it's going to be incomplete. The th ball was thrown over to Kristen Rhymes, and it was just out of his grasp, and he was hit just right after he touched the ball. So that was Patterson just tried to lead him a little bit too far. He, he, he looked. He made the right read. It just uh, because the uh, LaQuentin Wells, there was nothing there for him. He was running to the right side, and it was either – Run it yourself or get it out in the flat to Rhymes and so, so just let him a little too far. We've got Palmer and Stewart, and now over there with them is Dre Stafford. Back to pass. It's a screen pass that Wells has it at 40, and he's going to be taken down after a short pickup to the 44. So it's going to bring up fourth down and six yards to go for a first down for Dyer County. So we put Dyer County in a putting situation. And Dane Patterson comes off, tells Coach Whittles, my, my bad, my bad. So they Dyer uh, County did not get a first down in this one, but well, uh, that was on the turnover. So first possession, they just marched quickly downfield in four plays, of course. Good snap. The punt is away. It's a low end over end kick. Takes a high bounce, and it's going to be taken by Northeast about the 19-yard line. And he is thrown down about the 16, but they're going to say as far as progress is there at the 19 where he's got the ball. So what you're saying is he go nowhere. He went nowhere at all. Mm -hmm. As good kick coverage that time, as it was, wasn't a very long kick, but he took a good high bounce when he did hit. And when the return man got the ball for Northeast, our county coverage team. Well, they've done there. some extensive practice on special teams after the Henry County game. Uh, yes, they yes. they've worked on that for the last two weeks and. Uh, there's evidence of that both last week and tho uh, thus far tonight. Well, uh, our special teams have been highlights every every game except the Henry County game. Fake inside and pass over the middle, and it's going to be incomplete. And who was it that slapped it out? That was number seven. That is Ethan Evans, the senior wide receiver, the senior uh, linebacker coming across the middle. It seems like he's been around every play when yeah. the ball has been thrown. And he hits hard, too. Well, we've got a hard-hitting defense. That's yes, one we thing do. Coach Whittle has said from the very beginning this season that we're a very physical ball team. Dig the quarterback, the freshman single caller. He's shotgun formation. He's going to hand off to the first man through, and he's going to be tackled at the 20-yard line. Dyer County's just going to push him back. Well, and uh, Jaden Pugh got a hit, uh, took a hit from one of Dyer County's players. I'm not sure which one it was got back there. I didn't see his number, but right as he threw it he paid the price well that or actually when he handed it off uh, as soon as it was over that didn't go anywhere you mm -hmm. know when you look at our defensive front nick rushing uh remy halliburton maxadon uh, uh, rigsby it, it's all tough pass downfield and it falls incomplete about the 45 yard line He's got a strong arm and not necessarily accurate, but That's it, right. it's really strong. He throws it. We were watching him in pregame, and he can throw it a long way. Brings up fourth down, and they say nine yards to go. The ball is spotted at the, at the northeast 19-yard line. And watching them in pregame, their punter did not line up deep at all. And an opportunity. He's back further now than he was in pregame. 13 he's yards yeah, now. He's 13 yards deep now. But they've got... Three blockers from the backfield. Got a man back at the 43-yard line. I think 43. Good snap. Ball is off. It's fouling. It's going to be taken at the 48-yard line by Stewart. He gets up to the across the 40-yard line. They're going to spot it about the 38-yard line. So good return that time by Stewart. A short kick, short return. But Dyer County is going to be set up in business inside the northeast. 40-yard line. Let's see where they're going to spot it. 
like about the 38 maybe 30, 38 38 I didn't know whether 37 38 whether he's going to spot it well our county up. took the first possession uh, four yards uh, or four plays 65 yards and uh, for a touchdown then uh, on the interception punted now they got it back again on their own on their 38 our county leads seven to nothing Patterson keeps the ball he's going to throw it out to Sawyer and Sawyer's going to fall forward to the 35 he was in the grass and it's thrown forward, and he fell forward to the 35. Well, he was in the grass when he caught that, yeah, so he yeah. made an excellent catch, Garrett Sawyer. Oh, oh they're going to put it back to the 37. He must well, two yards. Uh, well, okay. Ball spotted at the 37-yard line, about a yard pickup for Dyer County. Patterson, quarterback, two wide receivers each side, getting a change of play from the quarterback. Wells switches over to the left side and he's going to take the handoff yeah. and we've got flags Movement. throwing and it's going to be against Dyer County. Yeah. It's going to be the first penalty on Dyer County. Yeah, it's going to move back March five, off, uh, what, five yards? Five yards. So it's going to be second down still, but it's about 14 yards to go for the first down. Dyer County has to get to the, the northeast 28 yard line. 4.56 remaining in the first quarter. Dyer County on top, 7 0. Dyer County with three wide receivers over to the left side. He's got Grimes, uh, Parker, or Palmer. Hand off to Wells up the middle, and he's going to get across the 40, and that's going to be about it. Well, that's one of the things they worked on at, uh, in practice. He was kind of dancing around a little bit, looking for a hole instead of busting it to the outside. That's one of the things they've been working on in practice with him. If nothing's there, bust it to the outside. You're faster than they are. So we've got Palmer and Stewart lined up wide left. Sawyer and Rhymes wide right, ball on the right hash mark. Wells in the backfield along with Patterson. Rhymes in motion, goes over to the left. He's going to get set, so we have trips on the left side. Hand off to Patterson. He's across the uh, uh, Wells. He's across the 30. Uh, down, knocked out of bounds. What are they going to say? Went out of bounds at the 26-yard line. So that is enough for the first down. So it's going to be enough. That's the fourth Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. As he Wells needed every bit of it. Wells got, got the handoff and went to the right side and got down the sideline. Kind of knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. First down and 10, Dyer County. Ball still on the right hash mark. Two wide receivers each side. Patterson has the ball. Fakes it to Wells. Keeps it himself. He's across the 20. He's at the 15. He's driving inside the 10. Still driving inside the 5. Down to about the 2-yard line. Maybe the 1. They're going to mark it at the 2. Man, Patterson just would not give up on that run. He held that ball a long time, and everybody was going towards Wells. And Patterson pulls it back. I mean, that's a long, long ride in there, Chuck. And it was, and he was riding with players on his back. So we have a DNS Motors timeout on the field. So let's take a 30 second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on WTRO. The city of Newburgh is a proud supporter of Dyer County Choctaw football. Come to the city of Newburgh, a great place to work, to live, and a great place to shop. Plus, the city of New Bern is a great place to start your next trip. That's right, you can catch Amtrak in downtown New Bern. Come into New Bern for a great afternoon of shopping, eating, and having a great time. Located along historic Highway 51, come visit New Bern soon. The city of New Bern says, go Choctaws. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Dane Patterson, three carries, 43 yards, three carries for LaQuinton Wells. He's got 37, and Dyer County on the ground doing well here in the first uh, first quarter. So it's first down, uh, first and goal for Dyer County at the two-yard line of Northeast as we come up to the line of scrimmage. And Jake Willis at slot, he's going to hand off to Wells. Wells is going to fight for, for the first down. He's going to get some push in there. And they're going to say he was stopped just short. Uh, we had the power going back, and I thought maybe he'd get across, but they marked it just short of the goal line, maybe six inches away. Well, and LaQuentin Wells has made this, uh, even though a 24-yard run by Dane Patterson, it was LaQuentin Wells getting that first down on that third down and, what, 12 or 13? 14, and, wasn't it? Or 14, yeah. yeah. 
That that was the play that uh, that did it. So it's second down and gold, and we're going to say from one, but it's like six inches out. Patterson gets the snap. He's going to fake it to Wells, and he's going to keep it and slip down, and he's going to lose yeah, that yard. Yeah, he, he lost his balance there. When he gave it to Wells, they kind of bumped into one another, and just uh, it, it got him out of kilter. And well, they so were going for Wells, and you know. th there was an opening there, but as you said. Oh, he would have had it, yeah, if he, he stayed tripped, on his feet. He tripped, lost his balance, and went down, loss of a yard. So it's going to be third down and goal. The good thing is uh, he's not far back. No. <laughs> All right. We got ball is going to be handed off. Oh, no. Patterson's going to keep it. He's going to be thrown down, and the ball is going to be thrown, and it's going to be intercepted in the end zone, they're saying, or, or Park Northeast is saying, but the referee said he was down at the 10-yard line. They're going to say Patterson was down. He was tackled, so they had a sack. It should have been Derek County, been a total chiropractic clinic sack, but... It's going to be fourth down and go. The ball is at the 10-yard line, and Logan Cartwright is going to come in to kick a field goal. The ball will be spotted at the 15-yard line, so it'll be a 25-yard field goal attempt for Dyer County. Holder is Stewart. Good snap. The kick is snap is down. The kick is up. The kick is good. So that is a... Chisholm Lake Store field goal for Dyer County. That's the first one of the season. Ch Chisholm Lake Store, best steak, crab legs, and knee slapping good time. So Dyer County goes on top by a score of 10 to nothing with 144 remaining in the first quarter. So let's take a 30 second break. Reminding you this is Dyer County Tata football on WTRO. Wow, look at that sign. Bad business is sure to turn some heads. Tide Express of Tyersburg is a full-service sign shop specializing in all sorts of items. If you need it, they can make it. Vinyl signs, banners, yard signs, decals, magnetic signs. They even wrap vehicles and do graphic design. If you're outside of the family, need something to do. They can hook you up with custom cornhole boards with over 30 years experience. Sign Express, 731-334-5250. Or visit them at 1057 Bindle Road, Sweet B in Dyersburg. A business with no sign is a sign of no business. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Chalk Cause, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. So, of course, Zorski is kicking off the GNG Cyclers kickoff. It's going to be taken at the 20 yard line. Running off the right side is Marine, and he's going to be taken down as he gets to. Marine on the return of the first to GNG goal. As he gets across the 25, let's see where they're going to spot it. Right up about the 27 yard line. First down and 10 for the Clarksville Northeast Eagles. First down and 10. 135 remaining in the first quarter. Dyer County on top, 10 to nothing. Here's the quarterback. He has wide receivers both sides. Ball spotted on the right hash mark. He's going to hand off to number 10 going to the right side. And he's got a down the sideline. We hadn't got him yet. He's breaking loose at the 40, the 35, a foot race. Then it's the 20, the 10, the 5, and he's going to go all the way from the 27-yard line all the way for a 73-yard touchdown run. And, and that's Bowser. Number 20, yes. Jalen, Jalen Bowser. 73-yard touchdown run. And I'll tell you what, they've got some speed as he got, got to the outside, and it was a foot race down the sideline, and he had the speed. Well, and, and it was his speed that uh, that made that happen, too, because uh, Dyer County didn't have many chances to get him down. Well, you know, we, Coach Whittle said all along, this is a very athletic group, probably the most athletic group we, we're going to play the rest of the season. And it shows it out here. They're tall receivers. They've got good-looking running backs with a lot of speed. They're coming up to go for a two-point conversion, but there's some – Confusion going on, but they have plenty of time. There's still 20 seconds remaining in the play clock. They have ball in the center of the field, three wide receivers to the right side. Key back to pass. He's looking across the middle. He's going to throw it, and the ball is going to be batted down. It's going to be incomplete. So with 120 remaining in, in the first quarter, Dyer County is still on top by a score of 10 to 6. So let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on WTRO. Introducing the $1 yoga deal. Breathe in, and namaste you later. 
or get a real deal at McDonald's. Introducing the buy one, get one for a dollar deal. Buy one of your faves and pick another for just an extra buck. Choose from the Big Mac, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or 10-piece chicken McNuggets. But you better stop by McDonald's today because this deal is only around for a limited time. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. Cannot be combined with any offers or combo meal. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, just like that, it's 10 to 6. And like Coach said in the uh, pregame show, uh, they gotta, you got to watch out. These kids are athletic. So the G&G Cycles kickoff is coming up. Oh, it's going to be kicked short. It's going to be taken at the 33-yard line. And he's going to run sideways. That's Garrett Sawyer. He tries to find something. He does. He's going to get up to the 40-yard line. Now he's going to be snowed under at that point. But a good re- return. Garrett Sawyer gets it on the left side and returns it across the field and then turns it up and picks up to the 40-yard line. So well, he showed some strength there. Yeah, he ran yeah. over a player to, to push it up to the 40. They, they might have had him at the 35, but he made that happen. So the ball is going to be in Dyer County. Players walking back. And There's a flag. And they're moving the ball back, too. So the referee hand gives a signal. Personal foul, Dyer County. That's a 15-yarder. Oh, that's from the 30-yard line. So the ball is returned to the 40, but they're stepping off the penalty from the 30 is where the flag mm. occurs. So it's going to be... That is not what we want. No, the that ball is, is not what we want. Now it's a 16-yard line. So it's going to be first down and 10 for Dyer County at their own 16-yard line. So a long ways to go for Dyer County. As we've had the short field, with, uh, we've had the ball on 35 and on 40. So this time we're starting at the 16. They're going to hand off to Wells. He's going to jitter step, and he's going to get up to the 29, fall forward to the 30, and they're going to give him, I mean, up to the 20, and falls forward to the 21. So about a four-yard pickup on the play. So it's going to bring up second down in six for Dyer County. So they, they're changing out defensive linemen. Dyer County looking and looking to get, get the play from the sideline. Palmer and Stewart wide left. Ball on the right hash mark. Rhymes and Sawyer on this side. Quick pass out to the right side. It's caught, and he makes a spin move, and he's going to be thrown down, and that's Palmer. Logan Palmer as catch the ball, maybe a one-yard pickup on the play, and then he's thrown back from there, but there's forward progress about a yard pickup. So I'm going to say it's third down and four. Dane Patterson now four of six for only 19 yards in this one. And that's the end of the fourth quarter. And that's the end of the fourth quarter. Dyer County leading in the, at, at the end of one, 10 to 6. So let's take a one minute break and remind you of Dyer County Choctaw football on WTRO. This is Patty Williams from Johnson Williams Funeral Home in New Bern. At Johnson Williams Funeral Home, our goal is to provide the highest level of service while maintaining the level of professionalism that has come to be expected from our firm. We realize that each family's needs are different and our staff is dedicated to answer all questions and respect your choices. Johnson Williams Funeral Home, proud to be serving the Dyer County area for 60 years. Your car's just been involved in a tremendous accident. You want to make sure it's repaired right. That's why you call the most reliable body shop in the area. It's Lowry's Body Shop. Call them with any needs you have. Plus, they do all complete auto repairs for you, too. Lowry's Body Shop in Dyersburg. They use state-of-the-art equipment to make sure your car, truck, or SUV is repaired to original spec. Lowry's Body Shop. Call them today with any of your auto body or auto repair needs. 285-7062. Lowry's Body Shop in Dyersburg. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, Dyer County leads it here going into the second quarter by a score of 10 to 6. We can't let this one get away from us. The ball is spotted at their own 22-yard line. We've got to get up to the 27, so it's third down. It's like four, uh, four yards over there, but it should be five. Dane Patterson, the quarterback, he's got two running backs with him in the backfield. He's back to pass, looking to the right side. He's 
goes in long downfield. We've got a receiver, and it's caught at the 47-yard line. That's Christian Rhymes. He goes up high and brings it down. Didn't catch him in stride, but he caught it, and the ball is going to be spotted at the 48-yard line. Dyer County's on 48, so that's a Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. Brings the ball. That's a sixth first down for Dyer County. At Dyer County, first play of the second quarter. That was uh, Rhymes caught that one? Yes. Throws it down. It's a little high, and Christian Rhymes goes up high, brings it down, gets the Henson Insurance first down. Ball on the right hash mark. Two wide receivers each side. Patterson gets to Wells. Wells to the left side. He's at the 50, the 45, the 40. He's down at the 35. Keep fighting down to the 31 yard line. And Quentin Wells, he had a little hoe off left tackle, and then he makes the most of it. A burst of speed. Then he makes contact about the 35, and he goes forward another three yards. So it's going to be another Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County. The ball is now spotted at the northeast 33 yard line. They're up play, ready for play, and, and Clark. Northeast is not. Patterson gets the ball. He's going to get across the 30, and he's going to be taken down about the 28-yard line. But about a five-yard pickup that time, and Farsal was not ready for the snap. And Dyer County came up, and Farsal was just wandering around on the field looking to the sideline. And Patterson did a smart thing and snapped the ball and get a quick, easy five yards. So the ball is going to be spotted at the 27-yard line. So it's going to be third down and about five yards to go for a first down. Two wide receivers each side. Wells in the backfield along Patterson. Patterson hands off to Wells. He's going to try the right side. He's going to bounce it outside. He gets up close to the, well, he's going to get to the 26. And he's taken down there. And a good tackle that time by Harris, their sophomore cornerback. So it's going to be. I'll give him, what, two or three? Two? Got two yards on the play. They're going to give him up to the 25. So it's going to be third down about three for Dyer County. As we have three wide receivers, Palmer, Rhymes, and Stewart all lined up on the left side. Sawyer on the right side. Wells in the backfield along with Patterson. Ball on the right hash mark. Patterson keeps it. He's going to try the left side, and he's got it up across the 20 yard line. And that's going to be enough for a Henson Insurance first down as he gets to the 15-yard line. I saw something on the ground. It was a towel, not a flag. Oh, good thing. I yeah. <coughs> caught that out of the corner of my eye as well. Yeah. John Stewart lost his towel. He picked it up and put it back in his trousers. As the receivers, they want to keep dry hands out here. They don't want to lose the ball because they're slick hands. Palmer, the not allowed to use stick them in high school, no, no, are no, you? No, 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 not anymore. Going to fake the steward this time. Wells going to have the ball, and they're going to pile him under, and he's going to be taken down, holding the football. And they finally blow the whistle, and Ford Parvis is going to be back at the line of scrimmage. But he did not have anything on the play. There was nothing there. They tried something different and put Stewart in the backfield as a lead blocker. And get a little <coughs> well, watch count. them when they come in, especially on the run plays where we set up like to run. They're putting one, two, three, four, five guys in the box. Yeah. This time we have now three wide receivers three. to the right side. We're going to fake it to Wells, and Patterson's going to keep it. He's going to get about to the 16-yard line. Short pickup of about, what, four yards on the play. So it's going to be third down, about six for Dyer County. On six carries, he's got 59 yards, Dane Patterson. 8.30 remaining in the first half. Dyer County on top by a score of 10 to 6. Two wide receivers each side this time. Ball in the middle of the field. Patterson gets it. Rides it to Wells. He's going to keep it. He's up at the 10, inside the 10, down to the 5-yard line. And he's done a great job. We're going to flag in the back backfield. Let's see what the flag is going to be. It was a late flag, but they're going to say hold. hold. That's uh, not good. I don't uh, like that. Flag was about the 17 yard line, so about the line of scrimmage. So it's going to take us back 10, so yeah. that's going to make it third and about 16. Yeah. Patterson did a r has done a really good job of riding that fake a long time and is drawing the defense to Wells and he's pulling it back and keeping himself. Well, if they're not going to him, he's letting Wells have it. So the ball is now spotted at the 27 yard line. Third down, about 16. Patterson back to pass. 
as time looking. Now it breaks down. He's going to throw it over to Josh Stewart. Catch at the 20. He's at the 10. Five. Touchdown, Josh Stewart. Man, oh, man. Patterson looked around, looked around. And he got out of the pocket and saw Josh Stewart over in the flat. He tossed it to him, and then Josh Stewart took off down the sideline. Had a man to beat, and he beat him. So a touchdown. Larry's body shot touchdown by jo for Josh Stewart and the Choctaws. Makes it 16-6 to six now with 7.59 remaining in the first half. Logan Cartwright coming in to, to kick the extra point. Syndicare Healthcare kick is off to the left and it's no good. So the Syndicare Home Health extra point is no good, but Dyer County still leads in the ball game by a score of 16 to six. So let's take a 30 second break. Reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on WTRO, WTRO. Are you looking for the best deals, more bang for your buck, bigger discounts, and the best customer service around? Look no further. Come to King Cotton in Covington, Tennessee. Whether it's an Good amount time over Kelly's Blue Book, WTRO, fourteen fifty a.m. and one hundred one seven FM. For you. We beat any deal by seven hundred and fifty dollars guaranteed. Just bring in the written offer and let us save you seven hundred and fifty dollars. It's that easy. Shop online at KingCottonCovington.com or call us today nine zero one four seven six seventy one eleven. King Cotton Cares. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, Dyer County has scored after taking over on their own 40-yard line. They have uh, drove it down and scored on a 27-yard pass from Patterson to Stewart. Joy Szczewski with the GNG Cyclers kickoff. It's going to go high, and we got a flag. And we're going to have offsides. Somebody here. was offsides, I believe, on, on Dyer County. Yeah. It was going to be high and short, but the high is good on the kickoff. Gives you a cover team to get out, time to get out, and so they don't get much of a run back. It's not how far the kick goes, it's how much they can return it. That's right, and uh, they've used Pazorski a couple of times here on the uh, on the kickoff. Logan Cartwright uh, well, has been doing that. They're going to say procedure against, well, against the Eagles. I didn't see that. Well, I don't know what it looked like one of our guys had been offsides, but well, maybe they must have lined up offsides. Okay. Well, the guy that threw the flag apparently was the one that lined up with the Eagles front line. Okay. So now Logan Cartwright, uh, Cartwright is going to come in and do the CN the GNG cycles kickoff. He's going to be trying to boot this one in the end zone yes. right here. Yeah. So there won't be a return. We don't need the athletes to get his, his hands on the ball any more than they can. Mm -hmm. Good high kick. It's going to come down to about the five-yard line, taking that point, and he's going to come up the left sideline. He's got a opening over there. And he gets by the first four or five tacklers. He gets across the 35. And he's going to be tackled short of the 40. And that was the freshman running back, Braden Taylor, who made the tackle right there. Good uh, good tackle by the young man. I'll tell you what, this those Eagles are quick. They've, Man. Got, they've got a tremendous number of athletes. Well, Coach was right. He said yeah. these guys are as quick as Ripley was, yeah. uh, and and possibly there's more of them well, on, they, on this team. There's a good-looking group of athletes on this team. First and 10 for Northeast on their own 38-yard line. Got a little counter in the middle, and he's going to be taken down. Who's that, number 40? Uh, That's uh, Marsh. Marsh, and he gets across the 40, may pick up a... And he gets to the 40. Short pickup on the play of about three yards. So it's going to bring up second down and seven. It's only his second carry tonight. First one went for no gain. Ball on the left hash mark. Three wide receivers to the right side. She back pulls it down. He throws it over the middle. And, oh, it's going to be overthrown to Green. And Garrett Sawyer, oh. he had that one. Yeah. He just missed it. It went right through his hands. He did not see the ball coming until no. it was too late. That's right. He saw it all. It was, it was catchable by. Oh, we, definitely. If we could have had an extended care home health the interception there, or a second of the game. A second of the game, right. But, oh, just so close. Third down and seven. Ball spotted at the northeast 40-yard line. Ball on the left hash. Three wide receivers to the right. Shotgun formation. Excuse the freshman quarterback. Back to pass. Looking downfield. Throws over to the left side. It's going to be broken up. Great defensive play that time by Christian, Christian Rimes. Rimes. Yes, and sir. He, he wasn't going for the interception, but he did a great job of reaching up with his left hand and batting the ball down. 
So now after completing his first four passes for 52 yards, he can't connect. He's missed one, two, three, four, five in a row now. So he is four of nine for 52 yards and one interception that went to Christian Rise. So it brings up fourth down and seven for Northeast as they'll be punting. Steered back in his own 31 yard line now. Good punt, we got a good rush on, no, couldn't get it. And Stewart races back, the ball hits at the 30. He's gonna pick it up at the 18 down the left sideline and he's gonna run out of bounds at about the 30 yard line. So it's gonna be Dyer County ball, first down and 10 at their own 30. As Stewart gets the field to punt and runs it up the sideline and runs it out of bounds before he gets caught. So it's 7.05 remaining in the first half. Dyer County leading 16 to six. Dyer County takes over on their own 30 yard line. Dane Patterson, the quarterback. Quentin Wells, the running back with him. Two wide receivers on each side. Man motion Stewart from the left to the right. Pitch back to Stewart. Stewart's rolling to the right. He's gonna throw it. He's gonna throw it and it's gonna be caught on the sideline. Oh. And who was that? That's Christian Rhymes. Rhymes. He just let him right out of bounds. If if Rhymes could have kept his feet and kept Christian him in bounds, why that was that was going for some big yardage. But it, as it was, it picked up four yards. So Stewart's first pass of the ball game. Picked up four yards as he completed it to Rhymes. They didn't have much running room. This time we got Rhymes, Stewart, and Palmer on the left side. CJ saw your long receiver to the right. Ball on the right hash mark. Patterson gives it to Wells up the middle. He gets across the 35, and then he's going to be banged down as he gets up to about the 36 yard line. So short pickup on the play, about two yards for the Clinton Wells. Quentin Wells has uh, nine carries, 65 yards here in the first half tonight. And still 6.40 to go here in the second quarter. Brings up third down and four. Ball spotted at the Dyer County 36-yard line. They're gonna put Phipps over on the right side, it looks like. Palmer will be over here wide left. And Hayden Palmer is the one that caught that long 74-yard touchdown pass last week from Dane so Patterson. Phipps to the right side, short end side of the field oh uh, and we had a trick play we're going to snap it to uh stewart as he went in motion and they're going to call a procedure penalty on dyer county yep. so a five yard penalty against dyer county as we have stewart lined up on the right side went in motion and snapped it to him as he was in motion trying something a little different trying to catch mm -hmm. parcel northeast off off guard now we go back to two wide receivers each side stewart and Palmer on the right, Rhymes and Sawyer on the, I mean, they're on the left and Rhymes and Sawyer on the right. 5.52 remaining in the first half, Patterson back to pass, looking to the left side, he's gonna get blindsided if he's not careful and he's taken down from the back side. And thrown for a sack and uh, Patterson is upset because he, he was taunted as he was taken down and walked on and he's gonna throw a bit of flag, There's and I flag. think that's gonna be against Patterson. Yeah, that's that's gonna be on us. Yeah. Yep. Because Patterson couldn't understand why there wasn't a flag thrown because of the guy that walked up his back when he was trying to get up. And I don't blame him. So the referee's explaining what happened to Jared Halliburton. First dead ball, personal foul against Dyer County. He wants to know why that wasn't a flag thrown on the guy that sacked him. First and it's and that Coach Whittle wants to know what, what that's about. And Coach line. Whittle's saying, well, why didn't you throw the flag on him to start with? And it wouldn't have happened. Yes. And Whittle is not happy. Oh, no. He's well, not happy at I, all. And I understand. I, I understand. I because I, cause I saw the guy, he was when he was laying on Dane's back and started walking up it, and pushing him down and you know he letting him know he sacked him and you're not supposed to be doing that fourth down and a long ways to go fourth down and 25 for dyer county ball spotted back at about the 12 yard line in the end zone gonna punt it from there get a punt off it's good a foul, punt. and it's gonna hit at the 37 yard line and get a good dyer county roll and it's gonna go roll dead at the 47 yard line so Decent kick for us. He got it out from the shadow of our end zone. 
Yeah, we so. just couldn't couldn't come up with a first down right there. Of course, uh, LaQuentin Wells got that what 14 uh, or 15 yard run for uh, the first down last time. This time we just couldn't get out of that uh, third and long hole. So, 5:20 remaining in the first half. Dow County leading 16 to six. Northeast has the ball on the on, on the left hash mark at the Dyer County 47-yard line and, and hand off the right side. He's going to keep Holding. going outside. Come on. And we're going to finally get yeah. Bowser and throw him out of bounds. And is there a flag thrown? Yeah, that's uh, Yamil Marsh, number 40, was guilty of holding uh, Dyer County. And I think that was uh, uh, Jake Willis whom he was holding. And they finally, That's got to be. Finally caught it. He did call the hold. And the flag's down at the 48-yard line, isn't it? And yeah, so I mean, it was right there where the play was, yeah. so. And Dyer County did a great job of forcing outside, forcing mm -hmm. outside, forcing outside, forcing outside. Finally ran him out of bounds. He kept looking for a hole to cut up to, and there wasn't anything there. And the reason for that is because of the great pursuit of Dyer County. Well, they kept forcing it outside, and yeah. just did an excellent job of stringing the play outside. And uh, didn't allow him to any room to cut it up. So it's going to be uh, first down and 25. The ball now spotted back at the northeast 42-yard line. High snap, handoff right up the middle, and he's has a little bit of running room, gets across the 45, and that is Marsh. Tackle made by uh, Kimani Lewis. So the ball is spotted now at the 46, so it's going to bring a second down and. They give him about, what, three about, maybe? About five. Five? So it's going to be second down to about 20. Two wide receivers each side, back to pass, looking downfield, looking over the left side, throws it, and it's going to be, oh, in the hands and out of the hands of the receiver. And slow to get up is the quarterback, Jaden Puig, as he was hit hard by Dyer County's number 10. That Jake be Jake Willis. Willis. Jake Willis is a, is a pretty tough customer. He can hit you and hit you in the next week. And he got up slow. He's walking over to the sideline to get the play, and he is gingerly walking that way. Almost completed downfield, but he brings up third he down paid the price. 20. As a freshman, he might be hesitant about making that pass again. Well, and high snap this time he gets it. He's going to throw it once again down the left side, and it's going to be a tough ball. Yep, he threw it behind him, yeah. For rain. And I think, and he's holding his head and saying, oh, oh. He is gingerly going off yeah, the he's, uh He's field. not as eager to go as he once was. Uh-uh. And so this time it was McElrath coming <laughs> after him too. So that's a. So it's going to be Dyer County. Hopefully we be able to return this punt as it's fourth down and about 20. Ball spotted at the 46-yard line of Northeast. Josh Stewart back at his own 20-yard line to receive the punt. A little low snap. Uh, Almost get blocked. To, gets it off and Stewart's back. Calls for a fair catch, gets out of the way. Now it takes a great northeast bounce all the way to the five-yard line. And so mm. the punter is doing a, a trying to fake that he got hurt. There was some contact, but nothing as he touched the ball. But it's a, a good punt as a Stuart wisely got away from it. But he took a northeast bounce and bounce all the way down to the Dyer County five. So with 4-11 remaining in the first half, Dyer County leading 16 to six. They will take over first down and 10 at their own five yard line. Ball will be on the right hash mark. We have two wide receivers out here to the left side, Palmer and Stewart. Sawyer and Rhymes on the other side. Going to hand off, oh, Patterson's going to keep it himself. He's across the 10 up to the 15 yard line. So a good carry that time of 11 yard pickup enough for an insurance first down for Dane Patterson as he fakes it to Wells and pulls it back out. Those two are really working well together on that ride. And if they're going to Wells, Patterson's pulling it back and picking up good yardage. So first down and 10. Dyer County ball on their own 16 yard line. Two wide receivers each side, ball in the middle of the field. Patterson fakes it to Wells, passes over to the right side. It's gonna be complete, about a four yard pickup and it's knocked out knocked down. Christian Rhymes, Rhymes was the recipient on that one. So yeah, about a four yard pickup it looks like. Brings up second down. Ball 
Christian Rhymes, two catches, 29 yards. Ball on the right hash mark. Wide receivers to each side. Two wide receivers. And we're going to fake it again. And Patterson has it right up the middle. He's across the 30, 35. And going to be taken down about the 39-yard line. Enough for a Hanson insurance first down. The ninth first down for Dyer County here in the first half. 3.08 remaining in the first half. Dyer County leading 16-6. 83 yards on nine carries, Dane Patterson. Ball in the middle of the field once again. Two wide receivers each side. Going to ride Wells. Going to keep it, pull it back. Patterson has it. He's at the 40. He's going to try to get outside, and he gets about the 42-yard line. So about a three-yard pickup that time by Patterson. Patterson's been the workhorse tonight. Yeah. Through the air, he is 7 of 9 uh, for 75 yards and a touchdown, no interceptions. And on the ground, 10 carries, 86 yards and a touchdown. 224 remaining in the first half. He's wanting badly to be our uh, player of the game, isn't he? Yeah. He is Syndicare Home Health player of the game. Harrison has it. Pulls it back, passes it out. It's caught by Rhymes. He has it at the 45. He's up to 50 and stretches across the Northeast Territory and picks up enough for Brian Henson's first down. Excuse me, Henson Insurance first down. That's the 10th first down of the game. And they're going to move it back to the 50 yard line. But it's first down and 10 at the 50. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Dyer County leading 16 to 6. Ball on the right hash mark. Two wide receivers each side. Northeast in a four-man front, and those are four big men. Big now men, three, yes, Now sir. three men. Going to fake it to Wells once again. Patterson going to keep it right up the middle. He gets across the 45 to uh, about the 44-yard line, so a six-yard pickup for Dyer County. Well, now you'll notice uh, every time they put three men in the box, Dyer County goes off tackle. Yep. If they put four men, they're faking it to the outside. So a timeout on the field for Dyer County, a DNS Motors timeout. So let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on WTRO. WTRO. A heartwarming plate full of meat and trees. That's what I want today. Grecian Steakhouse in Dyersburg has the best buffet in town. No frills, all-you-can-eat southern comfort food. That's Grecian Steakhouse, open daily from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., 10 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, featuring southern dishes like you're back at Grandmama's house. Not in the mood for buffet? Order straight from the menu. No one can beat that mouth-watering Delmonico steak. WTRO. Grecian Steakhouse, come in, Good kick time back, only. and eat soul Streaming food so you online. can't eat no more. You can get out in minutes or stay and sit for a while. 2265 St. John Avenue, Grecian Steakhouse, Dyersburg. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, a minute 34 to go till we approach halftime. Dyer County leads it by 10, 16 to 6 here in the uh, first half of play. And we got lined up with trip receivers to the left side, ball on the right hash. So we've got a minute 34 remaining in the half. Patterson has it. He's going to give it to Wells. Wells. Strikes down to about the 41-yard line. He's going to be about a yard short of the first down. So it's going to bring up third down and one for Dyer County. 69 yards on 10 carries for LaQuinton Wells. Dyer County quickly lines up. This time we're going with two wide receivers each side. Patterson's going to keep it, and he's going to be, oh, he went to the line of scrimmage. Nothing there. Busted back outside. He's across the 40, the 35, the 30, the 25, the 15, and he's going to be taken out of, taken down out of bounds at the 15-yard line. So that's going to be a Henson Insurance first down for Dyer County at the northeast 15-yard line. First down and 10, Dyer County. 56 seconds remaining in the first half. The clock is running. They don't wait for the chain to get spotted anymore. Snap, uh, throw it out to the left side. We're I think somebody moved. I think it was on Dyer County. And he can't throw a flag over there. He was trying to spot the chain. And before we got the, yeah, and, you know, they run, they run the clock before the chain is moved up anymore. Trying to speed up the game, and they're they're slowing it down. Well, they are for this one for sure. Well, you know, nobody was set. The chain game's not set. The referees are not set. 
the fifth we're, penalty. We're, we're trying to stop the clock and get a game on a, a playoff before because the clock's running. Used to have until the chain was moved, but you're not anymore. Because first down and 15. Back to Stewart. Pass is going to throw it into the end zone. It's going to be up for grabs. It's going to be intercepted. We've got a flag in the end zone. Yeah, Ball's that was interference. Return. We're going to have it returned out. It's at the 40-yard line, uh, the 35-yard line. And we're going to have a, and we got Jared Sawyer saying, come on back down here, fellas, that the flag was down in the end zone. And we're going to have the interference in the end zone against Northeast, Jared Sawyer is telling us. But he is not the white hat. We're going to have to wait till the white hat says, says but, it. But he was in the end zone with the other guys. <laughs> yeah, he was closest to the play, I guess. And everybody else is going back down there. And now we get the official signal from the white hat. He's going to say interference northeast, and it was in the end zone. That'll be half the distance and an automatic first down, I do believe. We're going to move the chain down. And they're going to make it first and five. So it's going to ball is going to be spotted at the 10 yard line. And so it's going to be first down and five at that point. Okay. At the 10 yard line. 23 seconds remaining in the first half. Dow County still has two timeouts, don't they? They do. All right, two wide receivers each side, ball on the right hash. Harrison gets it, going to throw it over the right side. It's complete. And we're going to have a flag on the play. And it's right in the middle of the field. And the Quentin Wells is pointing to uh, to the e toward the Eagles way, but he needs to be careful. He's the one that. We'll wait on the white hat and see what that's he's going right. to tell us. Here he comes. Oh, no. He turns around. He's making sure he's got it. There's the signal. Face, face mask. Face mask. Face mask. Face mask. North That's east. half the distance, so that should be another first down. Should be enough for It's the 13th Henson Insurance Agency first down. That will give us first down and go. 16 seconds remaining in the first half. We're going to have a timeout here. So we've got a timeout, I believe. I believe Dyer County called that one. That's their second. Okay. So with a... DNS Motors timeout. Let's take a 30 second break reminding you this is our county top dog football on WKRO. Well check exams and sports physicals are a must these days. Get yours done today at Real Foot Family Walk In Clinic located at 1954 St. John Avenue in Dyersburg. They're a full service facility that treats all ages from pediatrics to the elderly. Their friendly staff is there to help make you feel better and be in tip top shape. For more information, call 731 285 6110. Real Foot Family Walk-In Clinic, available in Dyersburg, Union City, Dresden, and now open in Ferris, where you're more than a patient, you're family. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on WTRO Dyersburg. Well, Dyer County would like none better than to punch it in right here with 16, a uh, little over 16 seconds to go uh, here in the first half of play, but they've got five yards that separate them from pay dirt. First and five, first and go from the five, hand off to Wells, and Wells going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there, maybe lost a yard on the play. And we stopped the clock once again with 11.9 seconds, and that did not go well. No. Trying, trying it right in the middle. I, I got a feeling we were hoping that they thought we'd go outside. He lost uh, two yards on that one. Look at there. So another DNS Motors timeout. So let's take another 30-second break. Reminding you, this is our county top dog football. WKRO, WKRO. Is something missing in your life? Your life. Do you seek purpose? Purpose. Are you hungry? Hungry. Reach for a classic. A classic. The Sonic Car of Classic. With a juicy quarter pound double cheeseburger and crispy tots for $2.99, you'll feel reinvigorated. Hold up. It's only $2.99? Hey, what happened to the Echo? Oh, now you miss me. Try the Sonic Car Hop Classic today for $2.99, now with a six-inch Philly cheesesteak. Tax not included. See menu for details for limited time only. Participating Sonic drive-ins. Sonic. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, Bubba Cobb, do they stop it uh, on an incomplete pass? Yes. Okay. Well, then they got two shots for the end zone with this 11 seconds if they go to the air. Second goal from the five. Patterson quarterback back to pass, looking at the left side, rolling out of the pocket. Going to throw it over into the corner of the end zone, and he hit, makes a bullet. <laughs> Who is that, Logan Palmer? Uh, uh, that is yes. 15, Logan Palmer. 
Palmer all in the corner of the end zone. We rolled to him. How can he be that wide open? Nobody saw Logan missed, Palmer. He's uh, one of our best receivers. Well, yep. all of our receivers. Missed pretty coverage. Good. Yep. But touchdown. Lowry's body shot touchdown with 50, uh, 5.8 seconds remaining in the first half. Dyer County goes on top 22 to 6. Logan Cartwright to come in and attempt, uh, attempt the extended care extra point. The kick is up, and the kick is good. That's the extended care home health extra point by Logan Cartwright. Makes the score 23 to 6 with 5.8 seconds remaining in the first half. And let's hold it here, Chuck. Uh, we've got a, uh, our GNG Cycles kickoff coming up, but Dyer County really did a good thing right there, scoring right here before the uh, halftime. We're going to be kicking off the second half. so North Well, and that changes what they talk about at halftime yeah. in the uh, northeast locker room, yeah. too, right there. So we go on top 23-6. That's a, that's a big touchdown for us. Going to give us a little extra momentum for us going in. And the Royce is coming out to kick off for Dyer County. So he's, he's the one doing the poo kicking, and Cartwright comes in and tries to kick it deep. So, of course, the Royce gets the – Kickoff responsibility here for the GNG cycle kickoff. Yeah, two, two running backs at the 10, two at the 20, and it's a line drive down the middle. It's going to bounce at the 10 yard line, taking about the 8 yard line, and he's right up the middle. He's going to get by the first wave. He's at the 40 yard line. He's breaking outside to the right. We've got to stop him here. The time has expired. We've got to bring him down. And we, oh, we, oh, we did bring him down. Ethan Evans has him. He oh, swings him around. Ouch. And, and he was, yeah, Ethan Evans got him, and then number 26, Darius Lovins, nailed him. So that put that, uh, ooh, that thus ended that. So that was a, a scary thing as they mm. got that return going, but they couldn't do it. So we're going to have our coaches go in here at halftime, get everything rejuvenated, and get back and start a, a great second half. So here at halftime, Dyer kind of leading by a score of 23 to 6. So let's take a three minute break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Chantal Football on WTRO. Do you find yourself worrying about your finances more and more these days? At Security Bank, your finances are our main concern. Hi, I'm John Young, and at Security Bank, we understand how hard you work for your money, and we want to help you make the most of every penny. We're a full-service bank that can provide you with checking and savings accounts, loans, mortgage options, home equity lines of credit, and much more. Come to any of our seven convenient locations in Dyer and Gibson counties and experience banking service like you've never had before. Security Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The City of Newburgh is a proud supporter of Dyer County Choctaw football. Come to the City of Newburgh, a great place to work, to live, and a great place to shop. Plus, the City of Newburgh is a great place to start your next trip. That's right, you can catch Amtrak in downtown Newburgh. Come into Newburn for a great afternoon of shopping, eating, and having a great time. Located along historic Highway 51, come visit Newburn soon. The city of Newburn says, go Choctaws. Wow, look at that sign. That business is sure to turn some heads. Side Express in Tyersburg is a full-service side shop specializing in all sorts of items. If you need it, they can make it. Vinyl signs, banners, yard signs, decals, magnetic signs. They even wrap vehicles and do graphic design. You're outside of the family needs something to do. They can hook you up with custom cornhole boards with over 30 years experience. Sign Express, 731-334-5250. Or visit them at 1057 Dindle Road, Suite B in Dyersburg. A business with no sign is a sign of no business. Introducing the $1 yoga deal. Breathe in. And namaste you later. Or get a real deal at McDonald's. Introducing the buy one, get one for a dollar deal. Buy one of your faves and pick another for just an extra buck. Choose from the Big Mac, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or 10-piece chicken McNuggets. But you better stop by McDonald's today because this deal is only around for a limited time. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. Cannot be combined with any offers or combo meal. This is Steve Williams from Johnson Williams Funeral Home in Newburn. At Johnson Williams Funeral Home, the key word is family. Our business has been family owned and family operated for 60 years. We possess a tradition of family values, kindness, and quality service that spans for three generations. You can be confident when you entrust your family to Johnson Williams Funeral Home because no one understands the importance of family more than we do. We are family serving your family. 
Your car's just been involved in a tremendous accident. You want to make sure it's repaired right. That's why you call the most reliable body shop in the area. It's Lowry's Body Shop. Call them with any needs you have. Plus, they do all complete auto repairs for you, too. Lowry's Body Shop in Dyersburg. They use state-of-the-art equipment to make sure your car, truck, or SUV is repaired to original spec. Lowry's Body Shop. Call them today with any of your auto body or auto repair needs. 285-7062. Lowry's Body Shop in Dyersburg. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Welcome back to the Dr. Pepper Halftime Show brought to you by Bruce Hayes Communications as Dyer County leads it here at halftime by a score of 23 to 6. And what an excellent job the uh, Choctaws have been doing, especially with that 95-yard drive and a uh, seven-yard touchdown pass from Dane Patterson to Logan Palmer to uh, to take us into the locker room at halftime. And Dyer County doing an excellent job here tonight. Uh, of course, on the ground so far, Dyer County is 185, uh, 185 yards on 23 carries. That averages eight yards per carry. Uh, that is uh, thus far, but only two men have been doing the, uh, the carrying, LaQuentin Wells, 11 carries for 67 yards, and Dane Patterson had 12 carries for 118 yards. Patterson through the air. He's 9 of 10 for 92 yards, two touchdowns, no INTs, and he has completed passes to Garrett Sawyer. He's got a couple of catches for 14 yards. Logan Palmer has uh, two catches for eight yards, but none bigger than that seven-yard touchdown catch. Quentin Wells has a catch out of the backfield for four yards. Christian Rimes has three catches for 39 yards. Uh, of course, all unofficially, uh, Bubba. And then Josh Stewart had that 27-yard touchdown uh, catch uh, in the, what, second quarter? To, uh, with 7.59 to go in the second quarter to uh, put Dyer County ahead right then. 16 to 6. Dyer County, though, has been penalized six times for a total of 55 yards. Uh, the penalization uh, has been three times for uh, only 20 yards uh, as two of the penalties were five-yard penalties uh, half the distance to the goal line. So, uh, But uh, they were nonetheless in areas that uh, they did not want. Uh, nonetheless, Dyer County is leading at 23-6 to six here at halftime, and we'll be back to continue the Dr. Pepper Halftime Show presented by Bruce Hayes Communications. We'll do that in two minutes. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on 1017 WTRO. WTRO. Are you looking for the best deals, more bang for your buck, bigger discounts, and the best customer service around? Look no further. Come to King Cotton in Covington, Tennessee. Whether it's an amount over Kelly's Blue Book for your trade or $15,000 in discounts, we make it easy for you. We beat any deal by 700 It ends up front. If our horses can do it on the offensive line and the defensive line, we're going to win this ball game. Let's keep after it, guys. Well, that's one thing that uh, they've been doing an excellent, excellent job of here in the first half. And like I say, it, uh, they made it close. It was 10-6 to 6 and uh, then uh, got up to 16-6, to 6 and then it stayed that way for uh, quite some time. So uh, we ended up having to... Uh, Get a couple of touchdowns and that. Full of meat and threes. That's what I want today. Grecian Steakhouse in Dyersburg has the best buffet in town. No frills, all you can eat Southern comfort food. That's Grecian Steakhouse, open daily from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., 10 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, featuring Southern dishes like you're back at Grandmama's house. Not in the mood for buffet? Order straight from the menu. No one can beat that mouth watering Delmonico steak. Grecian Steakhouse, come in, kick back, and eat soul food till you can't eat no more. You can be in and out in minutes or stay and sit for a while. 2265 St. John Avenue, Grecian Steakhouse, Dyersburg. Well, check exams and sports physicals are a must these days. Get yours done today at Real Foot Family Walk-In Clinic, located at 1954 St. John Avenue in Dyersburg. They're a full-service facility that treats all ages, from pediatrics to the elderly. Their friendly staff is there to help make you feel better and be in tip-top shape. For more information, call 731-285-6110. Real Foot Family Walk-In Clinic, available in Dyersburg, Union City, Dresden, and now open in Paris, where you're more than a patient, your family. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the Homeless Talk Talk. 
You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, Dyer County has the lead, 23-6, to six, as we get ready for the third quarter of play here at Choctaw Stadium. Dyer County, 185 yards on the ground, 92 yards through the air. Actually, more than that, it was uh, 96 yards because I forgot to mention, Bubba Cobb, Josh Stewart on that uh, little flip to, uh, or actually, I don't know if that was an end around or whatever that was. He flipped it to him, and then Josh Patterson threw it to Christian Rhymes. Uh, for uh, about a four-yard gain, so uh, that was um, that was uh, the play. Of course, it led him a little too far. He had a lot of field in front of him. Everybody was fooled. It's just he led him toward the out of bounds, and he just couldn't get turned and 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 yeah, upfield. When he, when he great landed, play. He made the catch, and then oh, he didn't have anything but sideline right there. That's so right. He got four yards before he went out of bounds. Yep. If it hit him a little sooner, he might have been able to get a little more. That's right, but it was a uh, beautiful, beautiful play, and uh, I, f I forgot to mention that's my fault, Josh. Uh, sorry about that, young man, and he uh, does an excellent job as a backup quarterback. Although he's good, he yeah. is really good. I mean, he can he can step in if uh, uh, Dane Patterson gets tired or wants a drink of water or whatever the case may be. We don't lose anything if Josh Stewart uh, shows up. So that's. Uh, one thing that uh, we'll be able to do. Dyer County is going to take a 23-6 to lead here into the third quarter. Both teams are warming up uh, north uh, northeast uh, just now getting back out on the field and or, or getting back out uh, and ready. Uh, Dyer County, actually northeast won the toss. Dyer County received the ball first, so Dyer County will be kicking. So uh, Dyer County has, uh, has uh, had... Um, uh, we've used uh, Cartwright uh, to kick off. We've also used Pazorski uh, to kick off for we're Dyer County. So we're uh, doing situational kickoffs. It, well. it, uh, Corey is, is kicking for the pooch kick, the short kickoff, and then uh, Cartwright is coming in and kicking it long. So when they penalize Northeast on one of the kickoffs, they may put Cartwright in to, and kick it down to the five-yard line. But I see uh, Corey Pazorski out there now to kick off. He's on the sideline with the other kickoff team. They haven't gone out on the field yet. Both teams are huddling up around the coaches on the sideline. The officials are out on the field. They're just waiting for the clock to get set. Now it's got 12 minutes on it, so they should be calling them out to the middle now. Well, one, uh, one team is 24 minutes away from uh, bettering their record. Uh, Northeast is winless on the season, and they are, uh, of course, winless in the uh, in the district. Is or I keep wanting to say district because that's what we have in basketball, but yeah. in the region, and Dyer County uh, is zero uh, and one in the uh, region as well, uh, losing to Henry County uh, two weeks ago uh, up in Paris, Tennessee, and what they call Patriotville. Patriotville. Yeah. yeah. All right, now we're getting set. Both teams are out on the field. We've got two players out there. We're having the GNG Cycles kickoff. And Corey Zorowski out to kickoff. His ball is teed up at the 40. We're waiting on something. The referees are counting it at the counting bodies. Make sure there's 11 on each team. Dyer County will be kicking from our right to our left. And now one of the return men is back to tie his shoe at the 10-yard line. <laughs> So I don't know. Mm. It, it looks like we're lined up it to have a short kickoff to the left side. And they're bringing their people up. And we kick it off. It bounces at the 50. High kick. And it, look, Garrett Sawyer has it. And Wales came down with it. He's got it. It looks like Dyer County. LaQuentin Wales had came down with that football. Uh, yes, sir. Kick, and, it, and Northeast saw it coming. But that was just a great kickoff. As that ball bounced and went high. And we had a player that touched it first. And then LeClint and was that Pizor that was Pazorski that kicked it and uh, Dyer County's uh, Wells got it yeah. and they about ripped his jersey off yeah. but he held on to it. But we had somebody come down with it uh, and touch it first and then LeQuentin Wells made sure we had it. So it's first down and ten for Dyer County at the ball at the northeast 42 yard line. So Patterson gets it, going to ride Wells and he's going to keep it and he's going to turn it upfield. He's at the 40, the 35. And just short of the 30-yard line, and a flag way downfield, and it goes high, and we'll see what that's all about. 
And the tackle was made about the 31-yard line, and the flag was thrown about the 15. And that's going to be a personal foul against somebody. And let's see what they're going to – dead ball, personal foul against Dyer oh. County. No. And I don't know what that was, but it, it was, was way downfield, and then the ball, the flag came down to 21. It went high in the air, and mm. I don't know what they did. And that was after the play, so now it's going to be second down, loss of down, yeah. right? Well, it was after the after the play. It was not a loss. He just had the down. So they bring the ball back to the 46-yard mm. line. Second down and what? About 15 yards, 14 yards to go, 15 yards. Let's say 15. Ball spotted at the 46-yard line, second down. And they stopped the – and they stopped for something. Okay, they started it again. Okay, referees doing a lot of signaling to each other. And the first down they call it. Patterson has it, quick throw across the middle to Scott Stewart, and oh, it's incomplete. <coughs> oh, I thought he was going to catch it on through shoestring catch and couldn't come up with it. Ball was incomplete. Then they said it was a first uh, – replay a first down, so it's going to be second down. So then it did It did happen during the play. Yes. Okay. But didn't he say dead ball when he signaled? I thought he did. I did too. But – Okay. So it's second down. And 14 is what the sign says. Ball spotted at the 46-yard line of Northeast. Patterson has the ball. Going back to pass. Looking, looking. Throwing it downfield. He's got a man there. And it's over his shoulder. And it's caught. And it's going to be a touchdown. Dyer County. Yep. And he caught that in stride. Who is that? Number one, Christian Ryan. Christian oh, no, Ryan. no, 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 no. Logan Palmer two. again. No, no, number two, Garrett Sawyer. Wow. Number two, Garrett Sawyer. And a beautiful hit him in stride down the right sideline. Oh. And he caught it over his shoulder, just ran it right into uh, in the, the end zone, just like he's supposed to do it. Man, a beautiful, beautiful play that time. What a 42-yard touchdown play for Dyer County. Bring, has a Lowry's body shop touchdown. Dane Patterson to Garrett Sawyer. Caught right in to attempt the extra point. And the kick is up, and the kick is good, and that's the... Ascend to care home health extra point by Dyer County makes it now 29 to 6 Dyer County with 11.29 remaining in the. Shouldn't be 30 to 6? A 30 to 6. 23 at, would at, make it. And 7 is 30. With 11.29. Here we it go. It only took 31 seconds in the second half. Ow. Woo. So an onside kick. We get the ball in their territory. And uh, just a few la plays later. We go for pay dirt. And uh, we talked right through that commercial break. We sure did. So Sorry about that. So we were excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, when it's 30 to 6. Oh, yeah. Well. So we're going to have a G&G Cycles kickoff once again. Let's see how they're going to play this one. Last time we had a pooch kick over to the left side as Dyer County's kicking off from the left to the uh, le a right to left, and they're bunching over to this side. Now he's going to change the direction, and he's going to kick it to the other side, and the ball is going to be taken at the 25-yard line. He's going to run to the left side. He's going to try to get the sideline. He does. Uh, he's going to be taken down as he crosses the 40 to about the 42-yard line. So it's going to be first down and 10. As he looked like he was going to punch it over here to the left side on side kick, and then he turns and just kicked it down the middle. I was hoping he'd turn and kick it over to the other side. They didn't have many folks over there. The ball is spotted at the 42-yard line. So Northeast will take on over first and 10 at their own 42. 11-21 mm. remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County on top, 30-6. to six. Two wide receivers each side. Ball on the left hash. Man in motion going across. And, oh, he's going to be sacked. Cold chiropractic sack. And they're going to say it's an incomplete pass. And Dyer County saying it was a fumble. And the referee saying it's an incomplete pass. Referee's going to win that one, yeah, <coughs> for sure. And I, I, uh, I told you wrong. That was a uh, tell Jason that was 52 yards. That started from Dyer County 48, so that was a 52-yard uh, uh, completion. So it's going to be first, uh, second down, and 10 as they call it an incomplete pass. Now they have trips over to the right side. Fugue the quarterback for. 
Northeast. He hands off to the running back through the middle, and that's going to be number 40, Marsh. Oh, oh, yeah, Marsh. And he's going to be taken down, and there was a flag on the play, and I'm hoping it's not a face mask. Let's see what they're going to call. Personal foul, face mask, Dyer County. <coughs> We're getting way too many penalties here the second half. Yeah, We're eight of them for 85 yards. Well, that's, that's several personal fouls we've had. Unsportsmanlike, we don't need any of those type of penalties. And I think that was with the tackle. And they stepped this one off. Whoa. Ball goes into Dyer County territory. So we're going to spot the ball at the, what, 44-yard line, let's say. That gives them their fourth first down. Just their fourth. Two wide receivers fourth. each side. First down and 10, Dyer County territory. Going to hand it off to the running back. He's going to go through on the right side, and Brock, uh, Bowles is going to break through. Get inside. His ball is loose, and Dyer County is going to pick it up at the 8-yard line. Wells picks it up at the 8, and it's going to be Dyer County ball if they rule that it was a fumble. Let's see what they're going to say. No, he's going to say it was he was down at the 14-yard line, even though no knees touched the ground, I guess. We're going we're gonna to say we recovered it, and they're going to say, the referee's going to say he was down. There was no fumble on the play. And it's going to be northeast ball at the Dyer County 16-yard line. 10-07 remaining in the third. Dyer County leading 30-6. to six. And motion coming from the left to the right. Fake to him, handoff, running back going to the left. He's going to get to the 15. And tackle made uh, by Dyer County's number 36, Matthew Rigsby, the sophomore guard on the right-hand side. And he brings Rigsby to the defensive end on that side, and it gets up to the 15, so what, about a yard pickup on the play. It's going to bring up second down and nine. Well, they're going to uh, Marsh. That's what they're wanting to do here, looks like, to begin the second half. Back to pass this time. Looks across the middle. It's going to be incomplete. Overthrew him. On the, on the coverage was Garrett Sawyer. And it was just a little high, but I think the receiver was looking back. Simpson was looking back at Goyer, Sawyer to see when he was going to hit him. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> Their receivers are big now. They're, yes, they're, they're they are. 6'3 and 6'3 on uh, on uh, both uh, both wideouts on uh, on the ends there. So, But our, our defenders will go up and stick them. Mm-hmm. And those big tall receivers don't like getting stuck. They don't like, like being hit. They no, sure they don't. Especially when they extend for that pass. Especially Frank. number 15, that's Alexander Tipia. So brings up third down and about nine yards to go. Ball spotted at the Dyer County 15-yard line. Two wide receivers each side, and then we're going to have a timeout. Okay. So Dennis Motors timeout on the field. Parcel Northeast takes it. So let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County Choctaw football on WTRO. WTRO. Is something missing in your life? Your life. Do you seek purpose? purpose. Are you hungry? hungry? Reach for a classic. Classic. The Sonic Gorok Classic. With a juicy quarter pound double cheeseburger and crispy tots for $2.99, you'll feel reinvigorated. Hold up. It's only $2.99? Hey, what happened to the Echo? Oh, now you miss me. Try the Sonic Car Hop Classic today for $2.99. Now with a six inch Philly cheesesteak. Tax not included. See menu for details for limited time only participating Sonic drive ins. Sonic. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, Dyer County leads it 30-6, to six, Bubba Cobb, and Dyer County has uh, the Eagles knocking on the door. They're in the Dyer County red zone at the 15-yard line. Third down at 9, 9.27 remaining in the third. Dyer County up 30-6, to six. but as you said, they're knocking tri trips to the, right, uh, the left side, ball in the middle of the field. One wide receiver to the right. Back to pass, looking, looking the screen over across the middle. It's complete at the 15-yard line. We miss him one, one man. We miss another, and he's going to go all the way to the one-yard line. And he's going to be stopped at the one. And I oh, yeah, we, uh, we had him. We just uh, couldn't wrap him up. That was Marsh out of the backfield. And they're going to get down to the one-yard line. So it's almost taken a miracle to stop it here. For a turnover, but they've got a they've got too many men on the field. But they're going to line up 
under center. And the ball is snapped and fumbled, and it's back to the four-yard line. And they're going to fight for it and recover it there. But well, and that was Marsh, uh, Yamil Marsh, who had to fall on the ball. I don't know what he was expecting to get it that, that way. but Well, uh, they, they had two blockers up in front of him, and they were going to run a wildcat or something. 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12 men on the field. There goes mm -hmm. one right now. Now they got 11. So it should be a flag. So now they now they finally decide to count the players. Now it's a little late, Ref, after the play. And we have an illegal substitution, he says. Yeah. Well. But they, they ran the play with 12. Yeah, and that's they, right. They lost that's four right. yards. And now they run a man off the field, so now they're going to penalize him. So I guess better late than never. Yep. <laughs> and so the ball is now spotted at the 10-yard line. It's second and gold from the 10-yard line. So they're shooting themselves in the foot. Let's keep on, yeah. let's keep on loading them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's keep, keep on, yeah, keep on giving them bullets. Yeah. And Pugh comes back, and he's shotgun. He's got Marsh to his left. Two wide receivers each side. Pugh back a pass, looking over into the end zone in the left side. We have a man go up. And, and man, it. we had perfect, perfect coverage. And he just goes up over him and catches the ball. I'm not sure we could play it any better than that. No. We had, him, had, we had perfect coverage. Had, had him there, and he just goes up over him and higher. The ball was thrown up high, and they caught it in the corner of the end zone. And we had a man there. Who and who was high. that that caught it? I, man on the far side. Vereen? Yeah, Vereen, yeah. So they're going to go for two. Pew's back to pass. He's going to throw it across the middle, and it's going to be incomplete. So it was thrown across there, and that was to Jared, I believe, number 10, and that was incomplete. So at 8.02 remaining in the third, Dyer County on top, 30 to 12. So let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County football on WTRO. Do you find yourself worrying about your finances more and more these days? At Security Bank, your finances are our main concern. Hi, I'm John Young, and at Security Bank, we understand how hard you work for your money, and we want to help you make the most of every penny. We're a full-service bank that can provide you with checking and savings accounts, loans, mortgage options, home equity lines of credit, and much more. Come to any of our seven convenient locations in Dyer and Gibson counties and experience banking service like you've never had before. Security Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Chalk Dogs, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, that is the second touchdown of the night coming in the third quarter on a 10-yard um, pass from Puig to Vereen, and that makes it now 30-12, to 12, Dyer County on top with 8.02 to go. It was David, Mar it was David Marino. He's going to go and take it. Kickoff, GNG Motors, Wells has it. He's across the 45, the 50, at the 40. He's still, they cannot bring him down. Now they finally get him as he gets into uh, Northeast Territory down, and we got another flag. Oh, celebration. And, and, and now I think Wells is complaining about a face mask, and they throw a flag, and I don't know. And Quentin Wells is a very polite young man. He's a very polite young man, but he, but he runs angry. He run, I mean, he well, really runs but hard. But if, if they let him... If he's being face masked and they don't call it, he, he can be upset about it, too. Well. And I can understand that. You get a player hurt. We do not need him hurt. And we got the referees down there writing things down. And so we got flags down everywhere. Now, I'm not sure, but we're going to sort this one out as Quentin Wells doing an excellent, excellent return. And that was the... Now what do we do? G cycle kickoff, and we get the ball. Well, we've traded touchdowns, except Dyer County made their extra point. So the score now is 30 to 12 with 7.47 to go, while and White Hat comes to the near side to get the signal. Yeah, the ball is down to on. 32. We got a dead ball, personal dead ball. foul against Northeast. We got a dead ball, personal foul against Dyer County, offsetting penalties. And we got first dead ball, another per personal foul against Dyer County. So there's two against Dyer County, one against Northeast. 
And so mm, two of them cancel out, and then they penalized Dyer County the third one. And both, all of them were dead ball fouls, so it's going to be first and ten. Yeah. It's just going to back us up to the 47-yard line. Uh, so it doesn't negate all the run, but yeah. it's a 15-yard chunk of it anyway. Well, it could have been a lot better for us if we sure. hadn't retaliated or whatever we did to That's right. have the two. That's right. We committed two, and they committed one, so two of them neutralized, and they mark it off. So it's first down and ten, Dyer County. And hand it out. Oh, fake it to Wells and keep it. Patterson is going to throw it long down the right sideline. And that was to Sawyer. And it was and over. another flag another on the another ground. Throw. And Patterson goes down. And I'm hoping the flag is with, with Patterson going down. But it was at the line of scrimmage, so that's usually a hold. That's going to be, yeah, uh, that could be on us. Oh, we got a penalty against Dyer County. Well, shucks, on, they're hurting off, us here. Step off five yards against Dyer County. We, we're hurting ourselves. Ten penalties, 105 yards we've given up. We're ahead 30 to 12, so you know Coach Whittle's yeah, going to like He's not that, going to be happy. But he's not going to like those penalties at all. And it's still first down and 15. First down and 15. Now, now the ball is spotted back on the 48-yard line. Passing back to pass. He's going to throw it out the right side. He's going to be caught. Is it going to be in bounds? No. He's going to be out of bounds, and he's tackled out of bounds. So well, if I was going to say, he pushed him out of bounds, so if he caught the ball out of bounds, that should have been a late hit. It should have been a late hit. If he caught it out of bounds, then it should be a penalty because he hit him after the catch. Mm -hmm. But it's an incomplete catch because of the incomplete pass because he caught it out of bounds. He, he did catch Shouldn't the ball. Shouldn't have both, I guess. So brings up second down. Ball spotted at the 48-yard line of Dyer County. 7.25 remaining in the third quarter, 30 to 12, Dyer County. Ball's going to be faked to Wells, and Patterson's going to keep it himself, and he's going to get across the 50 to the 49-yard line into Northeast Territory. Third down and, what, about 12 yards to go for the first down. Dyer County on the right hash mark, going from our right to our left. Well, we do not need the momentum to change right here. No, Dyer no. County has got the momentum. They did the onside kick. They pulled it off, drove it down, scored a touchdown. Now let's let's keep it going. We've There's given up a touchdown. Let's just pull it back. There's still way too much time left in the ball game. All right. We need to keep it going. Patterson back to pass, looking downfield, throwing across the middle. He's got Logan uh, Palmer. He caught it at the 30-yard line. Touchdown. And Look he's going to out race him all the way in. So <laughs> all we have to do is a 49-yard touchdown pass to Logan Palmer from Dane Patterson for a Lowry's body shop touchdown with 6.37 remaining in the third quarter, and we got a flag down at the 49-yard line. And oh, no, is oh. this one coming back? Well, they're walking back up there, and mm, mm, mm. I cannot believe this. Oh, and Patterson says touchdown. Patterson comes off the field saying it's touchdown, and now the referee's picked it, got the ball, and they're moving the flag up. They're ball moving down like we're going to go for the extra point. Okay. Yeah, everybody was moving back towards midfield, and now they're going down to look at the extra point. Let's see what the referee has to say. Referee's looking at us now. we got personal, personal foul, foul, northeast. He's ejected. Touchdown is good. So somebody's been ejected from the ball game from northeast. Mm. So whoever it was, it was either there was something – flagrant enough to get ejected, or there was their second. So that's so the second touchdown catch by Logan Palmer. He caught. Um, so we had a Lowry's body shop touchdown by Logan Palmer, and now we, we're going for the Center Care Home Health extra point by Logan Cartwright. Northeast trying to get bodies out on the extra point play. Now they got everybody out there. Josh Stewart will hold for Dyer County. Score 36 to 12. Snap, good snap. Ball is down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So the extended care home health extra point by Logan Cartwright is good. So now we have the score of 37 to 12 with 637 left in the third. So let's take a 30-second break. Reminding you, this is Dyer County South Off Football on WTRO. The City of New Bern is a proud supporter of Dyer County Choctaw football. Come to the City of New Bern, a great place to work, 
to live and a great place to shop. Plus, the city of New Bern is a great place to start your next trip. That's right, you can catch Amtrak in downtown New Bern. Come into New Bern for a great afternoon of shopping, eating, and having a great time. Located along historic Highway 51, come visit New Bern soon. The city of New Bern says, go Choctaws. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Dane Patterson is 11 of 14 for 193 yards and four touchdowns tonight, Bubba Cobb. Well, that's not bad. And they're that's gonna, an evening. They're yeah. going to penalize Northeast on the kickoff. So the GMG Cyclist kickoff is going to take place on the Northeast 45-yard line. Logan Cartwright's going to do this one. Yeah. And we'll get a high, long kickoff. We're going to try to kick it high, but keep it in play. Well, get it high about the five-yard line give us good coverage. Mm -hmm. It'll be nice. We'll get them back there deep. It is high, but it's going to be long, and it's going to go. It's good. Um, um, Field goal. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett <laughs> Sawyer puts his hands up like, hey, it's good. He was about a give yard, us three. He's about a yard short of going out of the end zone. Yeah. A good kickoff, and, and they're going to get a, a touchback, and his ball is going to come out to the 20-yard line. Northeast will have the ball first down and 10 at their own 20. Dyer County leading 37-12 with 6.37 remaining in the third quarter. Pugh coming back out at quarterback. They're in the middle of the field. They're going to have two wide receivers to each side. Running back will be Marsh in the backfield along with Pugh. Shotgun formation. Man motion from the left to the right. Going to fake it to that. Marsh is going to get it, trying to go back to the other side. And uh, he's stuttered around and going to be taken down after about a two-yard pickup by the entire front <laughs> of the Dyer County Choctaw defense. Six carries, 49 yards for Yamil March. McElrath, Marsh. McElrath getting up. I saw uh, Ethan Evans getting up. I saw Halliburton get up. Well, they took all of them to tackle him. Yeah. He's a... He's a greased pig in there. I tell you what, we've got we've got a, our front, Remy Halliburton, McElrath, yeah. those other guys. They really do a good job. Certainly do. Trips to the right side this time. He's going to hand off to the running back Marsh once again. He's going to get up to about the 24, so about a two-yard pickup. So, and two plays, Marsh will pick up four yards up the middle. Well, they're going to spot it at the 25. So let's say, well, no, I was right the first oh, time. Oh, and we've got a uh, young man down. That's Remy Halliburton. Oh, he's uh. He might be uh, he's hitting the ground. I'm not sure if it's a cramp or what it's going to be. He's, he's going around. It doesn't look like a cramp. No. But the referee's moving the team back, which is a good idea. And Northeast has gone over taking a knee on their sideline, so that's good. So let's take a 30-second break, reminding you this is our kind of shot football on WTRO. Sign. Bad business is sure to turn some heads. Sign Express in Tyersburg is a full-service sign shop specializing in all sorts of items. If you need it, they can make it. Final signs, banners, yard signs, decals, magnetic signs. They even wrap vehicles and do graphic design. If you're outside of the family, they need something new. They can hook you up with custom cornhole boards. With over 30 years' experience. Sign Express, 731-334-5250. Or visit them at 1057 Vindle Road, Suite B in Dyersburg. A business with no sign is a sign of no business. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, he is in some discomfort down there. That is Remy Halliburton, third down and five. Ball is uh, at the 25-yard line right now, and uh, Leanne has gone out there to uh, help tend to him. They've got him sitting up. But looking That's around good. at the crowd, this is the first time I've <laughs> taken the opportunity to look at a crowd. We've got a really nice crowd here once again tonight. We do. Yes. Stands are packed. I think uh, Leanne Brandeberry's out there as well, and we got a bunch of them. They well taken care of this young man. <laughs> and they're actually picking him. Remy, I'm glad we <laughs> didn't volunteer for that job. No, he's <laughs> a big young <laughs> man. Let me see. McElrath and uh, Andrew Roberts going out there, and they're just picking him up and carrying him off. Uh, Remy's a pretty good sized youngster. He is. But, well, uh, and that's Lewis trying to 
Lewis and the answer is Roberts. They, they come out there. They can get him out of there. So it brings up third down and six for Clarksville. And they're going from our left to our right. The ball is spotted on the left hash. They have trips to the right side. Ball back to pass. Looking, he's passing over to the right side. And he pushes off, and the ball is going to be incomplete. And he does a great job. Who was the receiver for the Cowboys a long time ago that he pushed off every time he went out? And they you talking about uh, uh, what was his name? Eighty-eight, Irvin. Michael, Michael Irvin. Irvin. Michael yep. Irvin, yeah. And that's that's. Well, and eighty-eight was Drew Pearson, but yeah, we're talking yeah. about Michael Irvin. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that, a lot of them do, but he they <coughs> they do it here tonight too. But they, they a lot of them do. So it's going to bring a fourth down. Fourth down and six yards to go, and we've got Josh Stewart back at the at his own 42-yard line. Dyer County couldn't put the pressure on tonight, and they get it off. High, high kick. Stewart is driven back. He's going to be hit in the back. That should be oh, a uh, penalty. Uh, oh, are we going to throw a flag? Why would that not be a penalty? He goes back to try to catch the ball, and he's hit. From the rear. Did he not signal a fair catch? Okay. They're saying he didn't signal a fair catch. So, But the crowd was not happy but about you can't, that you can't hit him. In, you can't hit him in the back. Well, that's true. That, that's, that's, that's called true. clipping. You can't, you can't hit a player in the back regardless, offense or defense. Yeah. But they, they apparently not. It doesn't matter. So it's going to be Dyer County ball at their own 42-yard line, first down and 10. And we didn't have an opportunity to catch the ball because we were tackled before we could. Mm -hmm. All right, we have wide receivers each side. Patterson back to pass, looking, 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 nothing there, and he's going to be sacked. And he's going to be brought down, and that was an awful late whistle if we ever got one. And number 57 is who brought him down. That was um, Patrick Moody, the junior, def or, uh, defensive lineman. So it's going to be second down and 15 as Patterson lost five yards on the play. They put a lot of pressure. He had some time at first, but nobody was open, so he held on to the ball too long. 432 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County on top, 37 to 12. Patterson gives it to Wells. Wells looking around for some running room. He spins around and gets up to the 40-yard line. So he picks up about three yards on the play. So it's going to be third down, and we've got to get about 12 yards to go for the first down for Dyer County. We've got to get to the northeast 48-yard line. Two wide receivers each side. Wells in the backfield to the left of Patterson. Patterson barks out signals. Now he stops, looks over to the sideline. Gets Changes the play. the play, yeah. Patterson has the ball. Back to pass. He's getting pressure. He's going to be tackled. He's going to be slung down and held on the football, thankfully. But he's going to be tackled back at the 35-yard line. And that's the second sack for the um, defense of and the Eagles. We're not giving the Cole Chiropractic Clinic credit for that sack no. because it happened against us. We right. Cole Chiropractic Clinic sack before Dyer County sack. Well, we have one. Yes. We have one. Back in the first, uh, no, the second uh, second half. So it brings up a fourth down and a long ways to go. The ball is spotted at the Dyer County 34-yard line. We have to go to the northeast 48-yard line. So we're back in punt formation. Good snap. No pressure, Spir uh, spiraling kick, hits at the 35, going to bounce it down and roll dead at the 28-yard line. And they might put it at the 27. No, I think they're going to spot it at the 27, so it's going to be first down and 10 for Northeast at that point. 2.51 remaining in the third quarter. Dyer County leading 37-12. to 12. Well, we can't let up here. No. Not at all. Both these teams looking for their first regional win. And we talked to one of their coaches prior to the game, and he said they were looking for their first win. I, I wish them luck and hope they get it next week. <laughs> 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 so first down and 10 for Northeast at the 
their own 27-yard line. Hand off to the running back going left. He's going to try to sweep and turns it up and maybe McElrath picked up a yard. got him from behind. Maybe picked up a yard on the play as Nick McElrath pulls him down from behind. As we do a speed good job. from that young man. Did you see that? Well, and he got through the line and had to chase him down from behind. And you've seen the speed that Marsh has. McElrath just reached out and grabbed that bad boy. And Frisco he grabbed him. Is forcing it in, and when he forces it in, he did a good job of catching it from behind. Second down, picked up about two yards on the play. So second down and eight yards. That's a backward pass. It's it's loose on the ground. Did they fumble it? Oh, they. Yeah, that I was think a it was a forward that, pass. That was a backward pass. It was went from his hand backwards, didn't it? Well, it looked like it did, but. But they called it incomplete. Either way, it's in our that favor. Incomplete, incomplete pass. Third, third down. And let's say now, third 28-yard line. They've got to get up to the up to 28. They have three wide receivers to the left side, one to the right. Ball on the right hash. Run single running back. We're faking the linebackers going in that Halliburton. We, we were rushing from the other side, and it's going to be a complete pass at the 28-yard line. And Garrett Sawyer comes up and sticks Marsh after he makes the catch, and he gets up to the 31-yard line. So a good job that time. Coming that up. what, two yards? No, one yard. One, uh, uh, give him two. Yeah. But a good tackle that time. And the ball is spotted at the 31-yard line, so fourth down. And about six yards to go for the first down. They're going to go for it? Yeah. I guess they're going to have to. Yeah. They do. Running out of time. 123 remaining in the third. And they're, they're coming out. A high snap. He's back to pass. Looking over the left side. Throwing across the middle. It's complete. And he's going to pull it down. And that's number 11, Miller. And that's moving to Dyer County territory. That was a fourth down play. And it's going to be inside the 45. They're going to spot it. Let's see. Dyer County 42 yard line. First down and 10. A good play that time for the Northeast Eagles as they have a fourth and long and complete a long pass. Here comes Q to Miller. That's now the eighth first down. They've got five here in the second half. So they have the ball. Triple receivers on the right side. High snap once again. The ball down. Q's going to throw it long, and it's going to be oh, almost intercepted. Out of the hands. Of Jacob Stewart. Josh, Josh Stewart. Stewart. Josh yeah. Stewart. Oh, 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 he's, oh. oh he's feeling oh, bad oh, right now. Oh, he does. Coach. It was he, in his hands. He, he knows. He knows it was his. Oh, oh he feels like, oh, 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 I know I had it. I had it. I had he it. He did have it. it. It was in his grip. Yeah. He said, Mama Judy, if I caught it, I'd run it all the way home. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's going to bring up second down. Oh, oh, personal foul, Dyer County. I didn't see a flag. I didn't either. But another personal foul. Oh, we need to stop that. So 120 yards we've given up via the penalty. Oh, I was just thinking about that great effort by Josh Stewart almost intercepting it, and all of a sudden they move the ball down inside the Dyer County. For their ninth first down, six of them in the second half. Inside the 30 at the 27-yard line with the penalty, another first down, and they're moving right on down the field with penalties. And pass completion. He's back to pass once again. He's throwing over to the right side. It's going to be short. Oh, oh, he almost had it intercepted, and it came down. It's incomplete. And who was that? Turn around. I can't see. There it is. Uh, Garrett, Garrett Sawyer. Sawyer. Garrett Sawyer. I thought Garrett had it intercepted. Yep. And then the, it was a completion. Oh, and he. Dante he, Jarrett. And they both got to it at the same time. And he pulled a, hand, a ball out of, of the receiver's hands for an yep. incompletion. So I thought it was intercepted. I thought it was complete. Oh, it's incomplete. Great effort by Garrett Sawyer that time. Boy, instant replay would be nice right there. I'd like to see that one over and over. Oh, that was a good great, play by great Garrett effort. Sawyer. Well, that was a great effort by both of those kids, but I'm glad it was a better effort by Sawyer to pull it out incomplete. Third down, or, or second down. Back to pass once again, looking to the left side. Throws it over to the flat, and he's got a man open. It's called at the inside of the 20, and he's going to be tackled. And if they've got enough for a first down once again. Another flag on oh the play. Oh, no. And it's in the backfield, so it could be roughing the passer. Why can't it be holding on them? Personal foul. Roughing the passer. 
just uh, Mr. counting. Oh, uh, so we've given them too many opportunities. Twelve penalties, 135 yards we've given up. And I, if you remember the, the coaches' show that I did, and I talked with uh, the coach extensively, after the first game it was a great win. He could not stop fussing about all those penalties we had, and we had over 100 yards in penalties that night as well. Yeah, and they've done it again tonight. So, yep. And they move inside the 10-yard line. The ball is going to be spotted at about the 7-yard line. First down uh, – First down and goal to the seven. High snap over his head. He's going to go back and fall on it about the 24-yard line. Well, that happened to him again. Uh, yeah, when they were down at the five while ago. Yeah. And so they get down to the seven and they high snap again. So it's going to be the end of the third quarter as we've got two seconds remaining. And so that's going to be the end of the quarter. So at the end of three, Dyer County leading in the ball game by a score of 37 to 12. So let's take a one-minute break reminding you this is Dyer County Child Talk Football on WKRO. All right. Introducing the $1 yoga deal. Breathe in. And I'm going to see you later. Or get a real deal at McDonald's. Introducing the buy one, get one for a dollar deal. Buy one of your faves and pick another for just an extra buck. Choose from the Big Mac, filet of fish quarter pounder with cheese, or 10-piece chicken McNuggets. But you better stop by McDonald's today because this deal is only around for a limited time. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. Cannot be combined with any offers or combo meal. This is Patty Williams from Johnson Williams Funeral Home in New Bern. At Johnson Williams Funeral Home, our goal is to provide the highest level of service while maintaining the level of professionalism that has come to be expected from our firm. We realize that each family's needs are different and our staff is dedicated to answer all questions in respect to your choices. Johnson Williams Funeral Home, proud to be serving the Dyer County area for 60 years. You're listening to Dyer County Choctaw Sports on WTRO Dyersburg. Welcome back to Choctaw Stadium. Final 12 minutes in this one as we go into the fourth quarter. And um, I'll give you one score here. Henry County 28 to 21 over Dyersburg. They throw the ball down the eight yard line. Oh, and a great job of stripping the ball from the receiver was Josh Stewart. Oh, that was a touchdown. That was a touchdown. He had the ball, uh, catch the ball at the eight, and it was going to go in the end zone, and Josh Stewart pulled the ball out of his hand. Excellent oh job. Woo, woo, woo. Touchdown saving. Third, Third down and goal. The ball is spotted at the Dyer County 23-yard line. And they've, they've taken a long time getting the play from the sideline. 14 seconds left in the play clock. Ten seconds remaining. Seven seconds, they're going to get set. Yeah, they're going to get set. Five seconds, four. Hugh gets the snap. He's look. He's going to roll to the right side. He's going to throw it, and it's going to be incomplete. Ball is thrown to his receiver at the 16. He threw it to the 18, and that's an incomplete pass. Way short of his receiver. Didn't have much time. To, uh, he was spending a lot of time talking to the coach about getting the play. Didn't have much time to get it off. So it's fourth down and gold. Ball spotted at the 23-yard line, and they're lining up to go for it. We thought maybe they well might try the field goal, but the field goal wouldn't help them a mm -hmm. whole lot this late in the ball no. game. Fourth down and gold from the 23-yard line. Shoot back to pass. He's going to th throw it into the corner of the end zone. Pass goes up, and he comes down. Did he come down with the ball? He came down with it, and it's a touchdown. And number 11, is that number 11? Is that Marine? Miller? No, that's Miller. That's right. Miller. Miller came down with it in the corner of the end zone. He went up against two Chantals, and he was just bigger and taller and stronger than they were and came down with it. We couldn't ask for better defense than that. They're just big and strong, and when they go up, they could come down with it and did come down with it. So with 11.39 remaining in the fourth quarter in the ball game, Dyer County leads 37-18, to 18, and Northeast is coming up. It looks like they're going to line up and go for two. As they have, they've done it all night. Three yeah. wide receivers to the right side and one to the left. Miller over here by himself going up against Tristan Ryan. Hughes, the quarterback, 
Back to pass, looking over to across the middle, and it's an easy pass and catch. And the pass is made to Miller for the two-point conversion. So with 11.39 remaining in the ballgame, Dyer County leads now 37-20 to 20 for the second 30-second break, reminding you this is Dyer County Choctaw football on WKRO. Just been involved in a tremendous accident. You want to make sure it's repaired right. That's why you call the most reliable body shop in the area. It's Lowry's Body Shop. Call them with any needs you have. Plus, they do all complete auto repairs for you, too. Lowry's Body Shop in Dyersburg. They use state-of-the-art equipment to make sure your car, truck, or SUV is repaired to original spec. Lowry's Body Shop. Call them today with any of your auto body or auto repair needs. 285-7062. Lowry's Body Shop in Dyersburg. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, Dyer County needs to hold on to the 17-point lead, uh, at least for the final 11 minutes, 39 seconds. And that could be a long time, it's, too. It's a forever time if if the wheels come off. So we're, we're preparing for the GNG cycle kickoff. Watch the onside kick. Yeah, Northeast is... Changed their personal personnel around on the kickoff team. He's lined up. Looks like he's going to hoop kick it over here to our, right in front of us, and he does. Ball bounces, and it's going to be taken by Palmer, and he's going to go down to the 42, 43 yard line. He did the right thing. Yes, just uh, secure the ball, get what you can, and then a lay down. He that's got what he got did. the yardage he could get, and yep. it went down, and that's the smart thing, like you said. Um, so it's going to be Dyer County ball, first down and 10 at their own 43-yard line. And what I'd like to see us do is take about 11 minutes off the clock to, <laughs> to <laughs> score. To score. Yeah. Well, we haven't, uh, most of our drives have been pretty darn quick. Yeah, no. That's good when you're coming, coming from behind to mm -hmm. score quick, but now we've got a good lead. Let's run some clock. We're going to hand off to uh, Taylor as he gets up to the 45-yard line, picks up a few yards on the play. And that's number 17. Braylon Taylor, our freshman running back. Looks like he's going to give Wells a, a little break on the sideline. So it's about a three-yard pickup by our freshman running back. So it's going to bring up second down and seven. Ball spotted on the left hash. Dark County looks like he's going to line up with two wide receiver. Lee side Wells coming back in. He's going to take Taylor's place. Rhymes and Sawyer on the right side. Logan and Stewart lining up on the left. Quentin Wells in the backfield along with Dane Patterson, the quarterback. He's and our we move. We have a tackle. Starts way too soon. Mm. And we know the count. Yeah. We said it. Yeah. That should never happen. We know the count. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's going to bring up second down. And about 12. Uh, 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 yeah. And he feels as bad about it as anybody else. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's 13 nice penalties, thing. 140 yards we've given up tonight. He didn't do it on purpose, I'll assure no, you. No, I'm sure oh. he didn't. Yeah, I wish he hadn't done it. All right, Stewart flip-flops to the right side, so we have Phipps on the right side. Second down and 12. Ball spotted at the 41-yard line. Gives to Wells, and he's not going to get much. He's going to get maybe back maybe a yard on the play. And he's thrown back. Nothing there at all. So it's going to be third and about 11 yards to go. And he's picked up a yard on the play. Ball spotted at the Dyer County 42-yard line. Well, this is a very important first down right here. Yes, we need we need to sustain this drive. The, uh, the time clock is going under 10 minutes. We've got a 17-point lead, but that could disappear in a hurry if we don't sure enough. take some time off. Patterson back to pass. Phipps on the right side. He's looking around. Nothing there. He's going to take off running to the right side. He's across the 50, Got it. the 45, the 40, down to the 35. It goes out of bounds. And that's going to be enough for a Henson first uh, insurance first down. Henson insurance first down. I haven't said that phrase much lately, have we? That's the first of the second half or the 15th of the game. Right. Second uh, of the second half. Second of the, just the second of the second half. 15th of the game. But the ball is now spotted at the northeast 35-yard line, and that's what we needed. And now the they don't start the clock and run it now. A while ago, when we wanted it stopped, they didn't. But the ball will run out of bounds, I guess. All right. Henson has it. Uh, uh, Patterson has it. Gives it to Wills. Wills gets a race from the first two guys. He's at the 30, the 25. And he's all the way down the sideline. He's going to go all the way for a touchdown. Holy great. 
35 yards touchdown of a 40 a 35 yard touchdown by LaQuentin Wells he got hit in the backfield got away from that first man it looked like he was going to pick up some yardage on the play and instead he picked up the touchdown 35 yards for the Lowry's body shot touchdown for LaQuentin Wells and the Dyer County Chautauqua and that's what we need well, I wish we'd run a little more clock off but we'll take the score it's now 43 to 20. So we're now leading them three touchdowns to two here in the second half. And the extended care extra point attempt by Cartwright is up, and it is good. So the extended care home health extra point was good by Logan Cartwright. So Dyer County now leads by a score of 44 to 20 with 9.28 remaining in the ball game. So let's take a 30-second break reminding you of Dyer County Chata football on WKRO. Are you looking for the best deal, more bang for your buck, bigger discounts, and the best customer service around? Look no further. Come to King Cotton in Covington, Tennessee. Whether it's an amount over Kelly Blue Book for your trade or $15,000 in discounts, we make it easy for you. We beat any deal by $750 guaranteed. Just bring in the written offer and let us save you $750. It's that easy. Shop online at kingcottoncovington.com or call us today, 901-476-7111. King Cotton Cares. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, Bubba Cobb, we're going to see a steady diet of uh, passing in our uh, secondary tested That's for the right. remainder of this game. All right, so the G&G Cyclist kickoff by Corey Zorski is coming it's short. It's going to come down and hit it about the 20, taking it at the 15, and up the right sideline, right at the northeast bench. He's going to run out of bounds up about there. Where are they going to mark it? About the 32, 33 yard line. Well, it was uh, Braylon Taylor run him out again. That's two uh, tackles that uh, he's uh, been made on special teams well, tonight. When you're young and strong and quick, yep. and you do a good job on the kickoff, you should get out there and make that tackle. And that was a good thing because he was. And I'm telling you wrong. That wasn't 17. That was 13. I got to correct. That was Trey Patterson. Okay. My bad. Yeah. Sorry about that. But he was smoking up that right sideline. I'm glad they knocked him out of bounds. So it's going to mm -hmm. be first down and 10 for Northeast at their own 33-yard line. Dark County up 44 to 20. They've spread out all over the field. they got two wide receivers each side. They put a man in motion. We jump yeah, off sides, and we're pointing at that they move first, and we got a flag uh, fan. They're saying it's against they them. They did move first. Ooh, yeah, so they're deep. We'll take they're, that. They're that was uh, on number 56, uh, the tight end on this side, and, and the that is going to be Kamanakai Higgins. So the, the left tackle move. We brought our uh, Rigsby moved off sides, and so he pointed. Oh, he caused me some. So it's going to be first down and 15. Ball's moved back now to the 28-yard line. Shug back to pass. Looking on the right side, he's throwing long, and then his pass is short. He was covered by two people over there, Ethan Edmonds and Jared, Jared Sawyer. Sawyer. So it brings up second down and 15 as the pass is incomplete, and they're going to throw a lot of passes. It's they're going to so throw a lot of passes, but they're going to see a steady diet of blitzes and uh, downfield man-to-man -man coverage. So this could be a long nine minutes and 18 seconds here. That's right. It'll exactly be a lot of right. passes. Dyer County will have a lot of runs when we get the ball. So we're going to want to run that clock, and, of course, Northeast wants the clock stopped if we don't make a completion. Oh, they're going to run it this time right up the middle, and we're going to br bring him down after a couple-yard pickup. Jake Willis in on the stop. He's a Give him, what, couple? A couple Smart. yards on the play. Here's Marsh's runs. No gain, three yards, five yards, then boom, 38, then one, two, two, one, two. Third down and 13 to go. And he motions from the right to the left. Back to pass Shug. He's going to throw it long to Miller. And he makes a catch. And we're going to make a good open field tackle that time. As Sawyer had to get him. Rhymes went after him. Oh, no. Him that, Ethan Evans. that was Ethan Evans who e got him. Ethan Evans. It's hard to distinguish yeah. between a seven and a two when they first get up. But that was a good pa long pass there to Miller. He's a good, tall receiver. Good-looking athlete. I mean, he's 
He's about 6'3". Was that 31 yards? Six. All the way to the 42-yard line, so eight, 18, yeah. First down and 10. Dallas County, 42-yard line. Back to pass once again, throwing down in the flat, and it's going to be incomplete. And who's that coming up real quick? Who? Turn around and see. He's not going to. Ethan Evans again. Ethan Evans again. Number seven. Up. It is. Ethan Evans came up. And he and had to come up quick, too. And made a good stick over there to cause the ball to come loose. Second, so second, down, second down and ten. Ball at the Dodge County 42-yard line. Dodge County leading 44-20 with 8.05 remaining in the ball game. Q back to pass. Fakes once. Rolls to his right side. Dodge County giving pursuit. He's going to throw it away. There's nobody over there. That should be intentional grounding, and, and or do you get to get it outside the no, tackle? No, the referee, he looked and looked and looked, and he there it is. No, okay. we don't we don't have anything about that. If you throw okay. it away, and, right. and has to, he can throw it away. You, you got to have a receiver over there. So the flag is thrown. The referee looking to make sure there wasn't anybody over there. Now he's asking, there wasn't a receiver over there, was it? He said, uh huh. And ten kind of flips over there. Jared, he says, I was there. I was there. Yeah, yeah I told you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, referee, I was over there. I, I was running that way. I just couldn't get there, man. He was holding me. <laughs> Intentional grounding, and then they're going to step it off against them. And, and that'll be from the point of the pass and loss of downs. Yeah, so. so now they're going to step it off, and the ball is going to be moved back to the northeast 42-yard line. They have got to get to the Dyer County 32, so it's going to bring up third down and a long ways to go. Or should be. Well, I think it is third down. Okay. I think that was second down. Okay. They back now to Dark County 42, back to pass. He's looking downfield, looking downfield. We're going to put pressure on him. We're going to sack him. Yes. That's a cool chiropractic clinic sack as he's going to go down for about a yard loss, but that's the second one of the game. Did you catch who it was that caught him from behind? We, we put him down, loss of a yard. I believe it was Nick Rushing. Was it Nick Rushing? I believe so. Okay. So it's Friday. Be I've been wrong about a whole bunch already okay. this week. Well, <laughs> give any of our defensive front their credit. They mm -hmm. deserve it. We don't call their names enough because they're up there. You're right. Sweating and dirty and muddy, and you can't tell the numbers a lot of times. It's just a pile, but they do a great job. He's back to pass. Fake it. He's going to throw it out in the flat. It's completed at the 38. He's up at the 50 yard line. He's up at the 45. He's. We're going to finally get him down about the 40, and he's out of bounds. Woo, that was Marsh. And he was a tough customer to bring down. And he's just a junior. We'll see him again 22 next year. 22 yard pass. Yes. Wow. But it's still going to be Dyer County, County ball. Dyer County ball because that was fourth down and plenty. And the ball came up to the 40 yard line. They had to get to the 32. So they were eight yards short. So it's going to be first down and 10 for Dyer County with 7.01 remaining in the ball game. Dyer County on top, 44 to 20. Let's have a whole bunch of four-yard gains right here. Just a whole bunch of four-yard gains. Well, Ohio State, you know, three yards in a cloud of dust would be good. Yeah. Going to slide it to Taylor. He's going to hand off to him. He's going to stretch it to the outside, get at the 40. He's going to get it to the 45 and run out of bounds. Inbounds, and he's going to stay, and they say he just stayed in bounds. So it's going to be. Slide down if you don't want to get hit. Well, they're going to say he, he was hit in bounds, and it's going to be up to the 45-yard line. So it's going to be. Second down and five. They had a player that went down on the far sideline, but it was a northeast player, and he's out of bounds. So they won't. The referee says my timeout. Now he says start the clock. Well, but the player was out of bounds when he went down, so he shouldn't have. They shouldn't have stopped the clock for an injured player because he was already out of bounds when he started saying he was hurt. They snapped that thing with more than about three seconds on there, well, or they five. They got 12 rows, and they snapped it anyway. And we got a we got a procedure call against Dyer County. Come on, Come on, guys. We didn't want to snap it, and we snapped it anyway and got the procedure penalty. And it's a wonder we didn't snap it. Well, that it. gives back uh, actually a little, well, about the five yards that uh, Taylor gained yeah. here a minute ago. Yeah. So, so it's going to be second, second down and 10 now. And 6.22 remaining in the ballgame. And we need the clock running, and here it is going. 
Let it run down, snap it at about four seconds, five seconds. Right. Everybody's looking for the sideline now, getting the play from the sideline. So it's going to be second down and ten. Ball spotted at the Dyer County 40-yard line. Two wide receivers each side. Ball on the left hash. Patterson has it. He's going to fake it. He's going to keep it himself. He's at the 45. He's at the 50. He's got picked up enough for the first down. Hold on to the football. He gets all the way down to the northeast 45-yard line. Pick up enough for another Henson Insurance first down. 16 of them on the night. 16 first down for Dyer County. And see how many for northeast? What did you say? Four a while ago? Was that uh, they have got 10 now. 10 now? Okay. They six of them or uh, six uh, or seven of them in the uh, second half. Okay, only three in the first half. That's three right. in the that's first what, half. That's what I was thinking. Yes. Okay. We run that play clock down. It's at 10 seconds now. Now we move up the ball. Clock at 526 remaining. Dyer County ball at the, at the northeast 44-yard line. Hand off to Taylor. He gets hit in the backfield, gets away from it. He's back at the line of scrimmage at the 40 and runs it out of bounds. Don't run out of bounds when we're trying to run the clock. But he picks up good yardage, and usually that's a smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, save your body. He wasn't going. He picked up as much yardage as he could. He picked up, what, six, six. yards on the play. So it brings up a second down and two. Ball spotted at the 39-yard line of northeast. Dyer County leading 44 to 20. They're going to pick up their first regional win of the year, and this is going to be the second regional loss for Northeast. Patterson keep it, fakes it to Taylor. He keeps it. He's going to go wide to the right side. He's at 35. He's at 30, and he's going to be rolled out of bounds at the 29-yard line. That's enough for another. There's Josh Hanson Stewart insurance. that's in there. Oh, Josh Stewart running the ball. Patterson. Yep. I'm sorry. Josh Stewart, the quarterback, he was picked up enough for the Henson Insurance first down at the 29-yard line. I didn't even look at the number. And Patterson getting some well-deserved rest. Josh Stewart getting some very valuable quarterback experience. You know. Well, he completed a pass in the first quarter for four yards to Christian Ryan. Yep. Well, he, he's getting plenty of game time as on defense, but no. you, you never know when he's going to have to be needed on, on offense. So he's getting some snaps here on offense. He's going to hand off to Patterson. Patterson gets away from the first man, tries the left side. He's going to get down to the 25-yard line, about four yards on the play, maybe three. Depends on where they spot it. Well, Taylor's been doing a good job. He really has. Well, and they put some pressure uh, right at the quarterback exchange, and he gets away from that first man, so he's got some pick up some yardage there. So anything he picks up is good after it gets by that first man. They have a player that looks like he got an uh, upper leg cramp. Boy, those hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, those cramps hurt huge. Pick up about three yards on the play, so it's going to be. You have to be doing anything at our age to <laughs> get them. <laughs> no, you just You're going to be sitting in the recliner. Oh, no, <laughs> there it is. Oh, these young kids work hard and get there. Yeah. <coughs> Second, uh, se oh, it's their face there. Get injured watching a Tennessee game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, I got a cramp. <laughs> I've heard Honey, out, push my toes. Push my toes quick. Give me some <coughs> pickle juice. <laughs> Tim Gay. <coughs> Quarterback Stewart keeps it himself. He's up to 25 to 20. He's up breaking free at the 15. He's going to go all the way. Josh Stewart took it all the way in for the touchdown from 29 yards, uh, from 26 yards out. Holy cow, how did he get through that maze? I have no idea, he, but he did it. He faked it to Taylor, rode hard, and he takes it and goes off left tackle and just keeps going and keeps going and ties in the tackle and guides the tackler, and he goes all the way for the touchdown. So we have a Lowry's Body Shop touchdown for Dyer County. Makes it 50-20 to 20 with 326 remaining in the ball game, and Logan Cartwright coming in to attempt the extended care home health extra point. Good snap. Kick of the snap is down. The kick is over to the left and no good. So we missed the extended carry home health extra point. But still, we have the 20 to a 50 to 20 lead here with 326 remaining in the ballgame. So let's take a 30 second break, reminding you this is Dark County Top Football on WTRO. 
A heartwarming plate full of meat and threes. That's what I want today. Grecian Steakhouse in Dyersburg has the best buffet in town. No frills, all you can eat southern comfort food. That's Grecian Steakhouse, open daily from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., 10 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, featuring southern dishes like your back at Grandma's house. Not in the mood for buffet? Order straight from the menu. No one can beat that mouth-watering Delmonico steak. Grecian Steakhouse, come in, kick back, and eat soul food till you can't eat no more. You can be in and out in minutes or stay and sit for a while. 2265 St. John Avenue, Grecian Steakhouse, Dyersburg. You're listening to Dyer County Football Action on the home of the Choctaws, 1450 AM, 1017 FM, WTRO. Well, Dyer County leads it 50 to 20 as LaQuentin Wells' night is likely done. He's got 14 carries, 107 yards, and a touchdown. But he's going to be on the kickoff here. Yep. On the <laughs> GNG site of kickoff on the cover, too. And Corey Brzezowski is going to be kicking off for Dyer County. Dyer County kicking off from the left to uh, right. Ball comes down at the 15-yard line on the left on the right side. And he's giving ground. It gets by the first man. Uh, reverses field. Gets up the right hash mark, a uh, left hash mark. And going to be taken down as he gets across the 30 to about the 32, 33-yard line. So it's going to be north to northeast football. The Eagles take over first down and 10 at their own 30, 30 yard line 315 remaining in the ball game Dyer County on top by a score of 50 to 20 good 30 point margin here and so somebody was talking about Northeast was favored by 14 points going into the ball game I don't know who gives points for high school games but Dyer County is having a good showing here tonight against Northeast absolutely so Northeast be Winless for the year. We're gonna, they're going to hand off. It's going to go to the right side, and they're going to try to get outside of McElrath, and he gets a hand on him. Can't bring him down, but he slows him down enough, and he gets help over there from uh, was, uh, what, number uh, Jake, 10. That Jake was Jake Willis. Willis. Yeah. Jake Willis brings him down. McElrath gets a hand on him, but couldn't get enough of him. Jake Willis comes up and makes a stop. and He, he has gains one yard, ran one all yard. that way. Yeah. As he kept forcing it outside, which did good. And then finally picks up one yard on the play. Second down and nine. 241 remaining in the ball game. Two wide receivers each side. He's going to hand off to the running back going to the left side. He's going to get outside. He's at the 40, the 45, running down the sideline. And going to be tripped up. And they get out of bounds. They threw a flag on that. And we tri he, he just happens to trip over his foot. And it's going to be a flag thrown at the 49 yard line. That was, I was thought it was much grievous. One when yeah. we were caught the ball out of bounds and got hit after that. But they're going to say. That's a 15 yard major right there. Yeah, and that ball is going to be from the 49 yard line. Oh, they're going to call a hold. Oh, well. okay. Okay. I thought they were going to call. Oh, good. They're going to well, call a hold against Northeast. Well. I take everything I said back that, from the referee. That changed everything because I thought that was going to be a chinky one over here. And as it turned out, it was a it whole Because it came call. out at the same time. And yeah. As soon as he tripped out of bounds, why? Ball back at the 39-yard line. It's going to be second down a long way. So they're going to hand off inside, and that's going to be to number nine. And I don't know who that is. We don't have a number nine. I don't have a nine on my roster. No. So the ball is. It's going to be a loss on the play. It's going to go back to the 38-yard line. Third down and six, 133 remaining in the ball game. Hugo still the quarterback. And it's number two. Scoot is running back, and he's going to get the ball, and he's going to be snowed under and throw down at the 35-yard line, three-yard loss. Ooh, and McElrath uh, fell on him. Man, that hurts. McElrath got a host of him, and so, and so did uh, Billy Garen. Billy Garen, yeah, Garen. He's the sophomore guard for Dyer County yeah. on that side, and, man, yeah. they've done a good job tonight. Well, that's two pretty good-sized youngsters. Yeah, that's 600 <laughs> pounds of people, over 600 pounds, close to 700 pounds between those two. Quarterback back to pass looking. He's going to throw long to the right side, and we got to push off over there again. But no, go, no. Well, Sawyer was back there. He wasn't going to let anybody get near it and catch it, but yeah. uh, he threw it short anyway. Yeah. So it's going to be 
be Dyer County ball as they go over on downs. 48 seconds remaining in the ball game. Dyer County will have it first and 10. Ball is going to be spotted in. I would say Dyer County will be in the victory formation, and if they call a timeout, then we'll score another touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> ball That'd be what I'd do. Yeah. Ball spotted at the northeast 35-yard line. First down and 10, Dyer County. 48 seconds remaining in the ball game, and we are in the victory formation. Patterson takes a snap. He goes down to one knee on the 40. He hands the ball over, and the northeast coaching staff, they start walking off. Ball is, yeah, they haven't started the play clock yet. Now they have. Thir they 34, they waited until after he got under 40 seconds. Yep. The play clock, as a 40-second play clock, they waited to the uh, game clock got under 40 seconds before they started it. So we don't have to run a play, and we're not going to. Dyer County is walking off the field and northeast as well. 18 seconds remaining in the ball game, But that's going to be a the final score as Dyer County wins their, what, fourth game of fourth the season. Game, four and one. Four and one. One and one in the district, or region, 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 I'm sorry. So as they <laughs> defeat the Northeast Eagles by a score of 50 to 20, so that's the, fi that's the whistle there. So let's take a three-minute break. As a reminder, once again, Dyer County wins the ball game by a score of 50 to 20. This is Dyer County Choctaw football on WKRO. Check exams and sports physicals are a must these days. Get yours done today. 